Boom. This is the guest of all guests. Proper intro. Probably one of my favorite human beings on the planet. Mm. This is Emma Rose, guys. I don't even know if for all of you who know me know that I'm obsessed with Emma. Uh, Emma is, to me, the number one transhuman in the world. You see, there you go. That's crazy. That's uh, a crazy title. I, I, right trans now. woman. Uh -huh. I don't say human, yes. but you are a human. <laughs> Uh, do you know? I mean, do you know any trans men? Any women that became men? Yeah. You know, it's kind of crazy because I actually did want to ask you about that. Isn't it interesting that that's to me? I feel like men transitioning to women is way more passable than women transitioning to men, only because anytime men put their head together and want to do something great, they're like, well, we're going to be the best version of women. Yeah. Like, I feel like you, like it's it's a lot easier to be a man going to trans than a woman going to trans. I feel like trans. you get way more out of testosterone because it's so strong. So, like, when a, a, a woman transitions to a man, they, like, their voice gets deeper, they get hair. Like, we have to do so many surgeries and procedures to, like, get rid of hair and to change your voice and to get titties and everything like that. Like, it's so different. So I think that they're just like mostly feminine, like men when they transition. But then again, honestly, like there are some guys out there that like they grow a full beard and their voice gets super deep and they sound like, like, like they were born a man. So, really? Yeah. <clears throat> You've seen it? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of guys in the porn industry that have, that are trans guys. And, um, like they're just like super burly, like they get hair everywhere. Right. Really? But then they, you know what? They look like Dr. Stan. The, the, thing is, the, thing is, <laughs> the thing is to become a trans woman, I feel like it's easier to, to be a woman. Because you can, like you said, there's surgeries. You slap on the tits, you can cut off the dick and you can kind of be like, Oh shit, that's that's a chick mm -hmm. with a. It's hard to add a penis. Yeah, that is true. Do but they have the packers. They have like the like the molds that like the holsters. Yeah, they put it in and it looks like a dick. But then again, like there's so many trans girls. Yeah, that but that like, just feels like, like a strap on. Or like they have big shoulders. It's like we have to shave down bones. So I, I feel like it's like harder in my opinion because I've had. I mean, okay. Right, but the but the work shows. <laughs> the work shows. Shave down right? bones. Like is crazy. they did a they do a it's a, that's yeah. a commitment. Shave I down feel like is crazy. I've been fooled more by trans women than by like oh, of course. trans sure, men. For sure. You're just like that's like a, a feminine looking dude. Yeah. But I look at you, I'm like, oh, that's just a fucking yeah. bad bitch, <laughs> right? Like, there's very few. There's really no signs besides maybe your feet. Where I'm like, okay, but that doesn't but like just like a chick with big hands. Yeah, but you're like, that's just a chick with big feet. Yeah. I know plenty of girls with big feet. I'll be honest with you, I can't. Even, the feet don't even like nothing really tells the crazy me part is like emma probably has a bigger foot than me doesn't look like it though if emma and i woke up in bed together and our feet were sticking out i wouldn't know whose foot was whose well i'm a nine and a half in men i'm a so. 10 in men oh okay so you have bigger feet. yeah we can share just about well honestly i'm not gonna tell I you guys my 10. size because you have big feet or small feet so i mean look at those things this is like fucking yeah, eight literally and a half. you can this stand fucking eight and a half right here so yeah. i don't know who's transitioning here but i looks yeah, like you're I more of a to, woman i need to transition that that's, old joke? that's nice when you're of small feet though because like all my girlfriends that have like smaller feet they have heels and i have to get all my shit from fashion nova because they're the only company that carries a size 11. so fashion nova is the only trans friendly pretty much shoe honestly or if they have to get a 12 in boots like they don't hold the 12 which sucks my my favorite uh, sexist joke used to be like, why do uh, why do women have small feet so they can stand closer to the stove? Oh, okay. Hey, oh, I love that one. Uh, but you know, it's crazy. So here's here's some questions, Emma. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part is, I've probably asked you all these personally because mm -hmm. I'm just a curious person. That's why you're so interesting to me. Because same, I really because know, yeah. it's I feel very uncomfortable in my body. I mean, look at it. I'm disgusting, right? So the no, fact that... No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't okay. know why you're saying that. No, 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 no. Like, but like, like none of this belongs on me. Like, all of this is like... No, that's choice. That's... there's <laughs> a, Yeah, that's a choice. But so, I mean, would you say you... This is a choice or it's like it had to happen? I mean, uh, it's still a choice, but it's... Uh, yeah. I feel like I had to happen because like at first, at the beginning of my transition, I thought that I had like body dysmorphia. So I transitioned at 21 and when I was 19, I started taking steroids 
to like get like big and like muscular and then that, oh because you thought you wanted to be more yeah, of a guy yeah exactly you were like i don't feel comfortable maybe i'm just not why because you were like super skinny yeah well i was very lean i saw like a six pack i was like like very like twinky very like fit but so basically I, like me uh i was like i was like i mean leaner i think but i just didn't uh, i just felt like i was like not manly enough i guess but then when i started taking steroids i literally felt like i was wearing a costume and i was like okay this is like this is i want to pretty much becoming who i want to fuck instead of like who i want to be and that's when i went to therapy at 20 um and then uh and you realized what's what what the deal is but can i ask you when you were younger and you were like i don't know six seven years old did you were you waking up in the morning and you were like yo something's not right i want to change this like i don't like being in the boy's body or it was kind of some shit that kind of happened down the line when you realized you're like looking for that look but you're not like you said you wanted to take steroids and you thought initially Mm. that you wanted to be brolic and be more of a man yeah but instead it ended up therapy wise happening backwards you're like actually no that's not what i want i want to just look like a chick and that's it yeah when i was a kid every time i like thought of myself in the future i just thought of myself as a woman but like i never met anyone who was trans until i was 19 so like i grew up on a farm i was like my parents are really conservative and growing up in that environment like i saw like the you know the shows on like like i mean jerry springer of course but there was another one that murray they would like they would sing (laughs) they would sing and then at the end they would be like oh i'm a man or something like that and like it would be crazy because like they 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 look beautiful but like at the same time it was kind of like a joke so like i didn't like identify with that and so i thought that um being a girl like like, thinking of yourself as a girl in the future was just something that like gay boys do and then definitely throughout my teens i figured out that was not the case and um and that my first trans girl when i was 19 uh because she was it was a drag show and so she did drag but she was also trans woman Mm -hmm. and i think that was when the puzzle pieces started like making sense and i'm like oh shit like this actually is like pretty much turning like wheels. But as, but as a right, kid, but growing you, up, well, growing up, like she said, the media was like, yeah. it was kind of like trans people were lumped in with like absentee fathers, right? They were just brought on talk shows yeah. as like, oh, look at this freak show kind of situation, right? And it's hard to identify with that right. when you're feeling what you're feeling but, inside until you meet a real yeah. trans person. You're like, oh, it's not a caricature like Jerry Springer portrays exactly. it, right? And you're like, yeah, I guess it's really important to have, uh, you know, uh, representation that isn't just <laughs> shitting on you, right? Because right. like or a joke or something. Or, like, or yeah. but in general, but in ge- but I mean that I mean yeah, but that falls. That's so many factors to that. But I I was but, uh, but, I, but in but I'm saying what you were you talking about? You said you knew that you were gay when you were already young. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. Well, I, I knew I was like guys and girls. I kissed my first boy in kindergarten. And I kissed my first girl in first grade. But, yeah, but but, but girls like, have ex- gay but I kiss my dog when I'm like in third grade. It's not sexual, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I kiss my mom on the lips when I'm that young. Yeah. So is it a sexual thing when you're kissing a boy, or are you just kissing something to kiss it? Right. right. Like, are we attaching a uh, sexual preference? at that age versus like just like affection can yeah. it just be affection when i kiss georgie i'm not into dogs yeah right i'm just i love them like oh i love them would you right? do that, that I, to I me i do that with guys <laughs> dude like on birthdays when you're drunk and like a party like i'll kiss my guys on the mm-hmm. cheek like yo dude like italian men are known to be the most like homophobic human beings on the planet but then they kiss each other like Come here, boy, 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 right and you're yeah. like right bro so it's I don't know at what age do you really find out you're sexually attracted to this versus affection. I feel like a puberty because like I still like when I when I kissed that guy I had a crush on him. So I liked him but I didn't know. Do you know why you liked him though? How old were you? Uh, I was in, what was kindergarten? I guess six. Yeah, but do you like him for... Because she's your friend? See, it's cool. Uh, No, I feel like I just like liked him as in like I had a crush on him. Like, right, but you weren't like, I want to suck his penis, no, right? Because you feel don't like, even know what that's that so point, innocent. Like, How are you yeah. supposed to know? Yeah, but you just like, hold but hands. it's like more than a friend. Like, it's more like, like I want to like cuddle with you. I want to like be with you. I want to, uh, instead of just being like like friends. Um, but Damn, also, that's crazy. At that age. Yeah. What I, I didn't know that. I didn't know any of that. When, even when I, I thought I was going to marry my I grandma. Kissed the, I kissed the first, yeah, the first time I kissed somebody, I was like, what, like five years old, six years old. And then I was just, I just did it because I'm like, 
All right. <laughs> Emma doesn't have allergies, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god. Emma's Adam. just allergic to partying. She had a crazy I had night. Crazy. I had a very long night. <laughs> my nose is just fucked. <laughs> but but you kept hooking up with chicks after. But after I'm saying, as you kept growing up, you kept hooking up with chicks, or you just stuck to guys. Uh, just with guys until I, I had one experience with a girl when I was a boy, and it was just weird because like I feel like. As I was getting older, I was getting more feminine, and I was trying to be like masculine, and it felt like it just felt weird. It like felt you like were forcing it, right? Dude, yeah. I respect that. The fact, you know, I really respect the fact that you tried. You were like, wait, maybe I just need to be more masculine. Yeah. You tried and went like, no way, this feels weird, and then you transition, mm -hmm. which is like. I feel like the smarter path before you fully yeah. transition, you're like, wait a second, let me just lean heavily into what I think society wants me to be. Oh, well, that's not for me. Versus being like, well, I feel like being this. And then, you know, do you regret any surgeries, any transitional moments at all? Or you were like, hey, this is just the road to where I want to get. I feel like I regret um, cutting off my balls so soon. Really? Oh, you cut your yeah. balls off? Oh, yeah, okay. so I don't have balls anymore. I But I did it so early in my transition. I cut my balls off like in four months in. And I went to like this shady doctor. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, like, yeah, can you explain to us the yeah. shady doctor? Yeah, what's a shady yeah. doctor? Shady. Because shady and doctor don't usually go together unless you're like Eminem. Well, he let me keep my balls. So like- What do you him, mean? Like, in a jar? Yeah. Well, I asked him if I could keep them, but I had to like flush them down the toilet because I was in Detroit and I couldn't fly with them. So I couldn't like keep them on a plane. You couldn't otherwise, fly it. Otherwise it's like you have an organ. Yeah, but you could check them then. Yo, bro, have you seen I you can like fly with a gun through TSA? Make... You think they would have seen on the scanner been like, wait a second. Is that chick traveling with her balls? I feel like, like it would you, look like, like, I don't know, like a flash. They're or looking like for matter. bombs, not your balls. True. Uh, but uh, I didn't want to. You just flushed uh, your you balls flushed down the toilet down to, at the yeah, hotel? I, yeah. That's I, I really in. had to because I was just like, oh, and I was like in so much pain because I was awake Yo, during it. So like, they so removed whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You're awake during the ball removal process. Yeah, Where is so, this taking place? Uh, it's in Detroit. In Detroit. So like, in a. In a clinic. So it's not, that's not going to be on like in a hotel room. Okay, we'll discuss but that. That. One, that one is going to be, that, that was in a clinic, but like he put a light, a cane needle in each ball. Which, oh, the fuck was that name. numb it? Yeah, to numb it. So that one, that one in the middle. And then oh he God. takes it off. And it only took 45 minutes. They just slice it open and take out the ball. but And then sew it back up. The, the scrotum area, like the oh. ball side. And the whole point of removing that is to just make the, the vagina area like well, less to bulky? not have testosterone. To not wow. have the what? Testosterone. Oh, so balls. Yeah, they're cutting yeah. the testosterone. Off. So, uh, yeah. Is that why like dogs get their balls removed? Yeah. Well, yeah, so that you can stop fucking feeding to do crazy shit. Fucking yeah. humping, dumping, everything. But so if you, can you ejaculate right now or no? Mm -hmm. You can yeah, come Yeah, yeah, honestly. Hold on one second. Fuck this. No, take point. a little. That's all right. Go ahead. Get those, get, get that tissue game going. <laughs> like, get that going. Yeah, I don't... Uh, Yo, that's crazy to flush your balls down the toilet in Detroit. It's crazy. Just to watch them spin down and being like... Hey, I had big balls, though, too. Because, like, uh, they were, they were like... They were you had big, big balls? Yeah, they were, were big. Imagine like, you clogged the toilet in the hotel and you had balls, to call them. They were, like, kind of, like... Cause, no, you know, well, I guess... Because I was, like, 21, so I feel like they were still tight. So, but there, I definitely... I mean, when I used to come, I used to, like, shoot, like, past my shoulder. But oh. now, like, I can still come, but it's... I, I would have taken your balls. Still, it still looks, it's, it could squirt, but it's like, it's not like a lot and it's clear because it comes from your prostate. So like your sperm is from your balls and it's white and your semen is from your prostate, which is clear. Right. And that's what helps it like shoot out. Okay, cool. So yeah, I wanted to know that. That's interesting. But the balls in Detroit is, is, is gas. That's a crazy story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was, it was yeah, definitely. Like, see, oh, yo, just they the look like so, someone they look working so at a gross. water treatment facility in Detroit and they're like, there's some balls just flew by. What do balls look like? They look. Were they like in a bag, like eyeballs? Like no, when, they 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 look like they look like honestly like, like veiny eggs. No, they actually. Did you don't take look a veiny. picture of them? Uh, I I don't have. I would like to at some point see a photo of your have to send old it. balls. I'll send it. I know it's on my That's laptop, wild. but no, they they look like almost translucent kind of, and like they they kind of look like um. I don't know. Like I think chicken. that is like, like, once, raw like meat. I'm uncomfortable in my body. Like I will be honest with you guys like uh but i think i would go more towards the direction of emma's first choice is like i'm gonna try to be a little more masculine and tighter mm -hmm. here but i think like i love dressing as a woman and mm -hmm. i f maybe it's because i get to be somebody that's not me yeah right it's like putting on a mask and it's fun it's so much fun it's so much fun being a woman 
Uh, it really is. But I just am. I don't think I could ever, ever remove my balls. No, I have fun like making like sounds, like tricks, and like like making jokes. I'm like, oh my god, like you know, saying shit like that. I think that's fun for me. So uh, everybody, did gets- you have to change your voice? Uh, no, honestly, I feel like my voice is the same. I still like when you get... were a st- not a straight male, but when you were, it was deeper. But at the same time, I feel like I was making it deeper. So I was like trying to sound like like broy and shit. Got it. So you were but... more. So so that's what most people, the people who are like, I feel like anti-trans don't understand that like she's not faking this. Right. She was faking being a guy her whole life. Yeah, I felt like a this is who she is. Right. right. And most people are like stop playing pretend right and you're like no i was playing pretend and this is who i want to be and it's like who are you to judge all these like people are like oh like this is a mental illness and all that shit i'm like first of all the term mental illness applies to like how am i not mentally ill right well i personally think it's i think i think people just need to understand preference bro people Mm -hmm. have preference and that's just what it is and if once everybody understands each other's preference because you know what ends up happening is Right, there's a big crowd of people that are saying like, "Oh, transgender is no good," and to them it's like anti, right? Yeah. But then, and then transgenders are fighting so hard to make sure that that's not the case. Yeah. But then on the opposite end, then transgenders become, "Oh, well, you shouldn't be like this," and then it becomes like a huge fight down right. the line. So instead of it being anti on both ends, people should just be like, "Yo, this is my preferences. I'm just gonna rock with this." Yeah, but the and problem with our society is that no one lets anybody rock. Yeah. Everyone needs an opinion on everyone, right? right and it's either you're this or that. You're either on my team or you're not on my team. And no one can just be like, hey, like, I'll be real with you. I don't fully understand transgenderism. Like, but I shouldn't. Like, it's like trying to explain how a dog thinks to me, right? We're two yeah. different. It's it's almost two its own, it's its own yeah. thing. My brain doesn't work like her brain. But I should be able to at least respect anything she does doesn't affect my fucking life right so Obviously. my opinion, so it's like but i just have a question when it comes to stuff like that because it leads to right when you were when you were a dude mm-hmm. and uh, you said you were bro and you still had like i'm sure you had homies yeah that were like oh, yeah. that were dudes too when you still had that relationship at like 18 19 years old and they remember i don't know what your your name was when you were a guy mm-hmm. which doesn't really oh, yeah. matter what's your dead name uh, that's one thing I don't say. Oh, okay, but, good. That's no fine. Worries. But I'm saying if there was homies that would see you and find <laughs> out that you transitioned, do they ever say like, yo, what up? Like, what happened? Uh, well, I feel like back in high school, I still have people from high school that like are into me now that they were just like, oh, I didn't think that like I would be like attracted to you. But, yeah, I was like, going to say, how high. many guys that were your friends back in the day now are like, fuck, oh, I want to smash. So many, so many. Yeah, honestly. because. Which is crazy, honestly, because I feel like that is I was such crazy. like. I was super social in high school. I was with everybody. I was like, I grew up on a farm. So like it was kind of, um, my school was in the middle of an orange grove, but it was like the cheerleaders, the agriculture people, the emo kids. Pretty much, I just chilled with everybody. But um, I moved away when I was, because um, I was in a different city. Uh, so I moved to Tampa and during college, I transitioned in the very last semester of college. So I was still a boy throughout the entire the college. Bro, that's experience. crazy to transition yeah. halfway through like middle. some sort of, <laughs> right? Like most parents don't even want to move high schools for their child until they complete mm-hmm. something. And you just went, hey, I'm this. And then tomorrow, yeah. I'm now this. And, and they everyone, say your name in class. Dude, like, you changed. Yeah. Who, who is that? <laughs> People are like, and then you start realizing. And then how do you mentally, that's my thing is like you personally, when that happened, how long did it take you to adjust to be like, yo, this is, it is what it is. This is it. Like, what up? Like, I think, well, at the very last year of my college, I was like wearing makeup and I was being very androgynous, uh-huh. but it was still before hormones. And then I started living as a woman four months before, or I feel like four or five months fully before starting hormones uh-huh. because I was going through therapy and I was just like literally, honestly, I feel like looking back, I should have just like waited, been patient. right? Yeah. And just like took hormones and like let it happen naturally. But I was like so over living as a boy that I just started just like, you like, hey, wanted instant yeah. gratification. Yeah. But it's crazy. Like that's your real hair. Oh yeah. This is my real See, hair. See, this is, this is, this always goes back to the thing is that in life, good looking people can get away with more, right? But like I've also I, had my hairline done twice. Oh, I need it done a third time. I yeah, I saw, I saw. Yeah, because like if that. I became trans, like ain't nobody want to fuck like the guy from Scary Movie, right? The guy with the long hair. Like, like if I started growing hair out, 
Like I would just be an you, ugly woman. You would woman. look like the Ice Age fucking thing. What is that they thing have, called? They <laughs> have they have surgery though. Sloth. They yeah. like, yeah, that's they calls me sloth. <laughs> like I'm gonna go because to Turkey and get eye. my hair done. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get my hair done again. You're gonna go to Turkey? Yeah. I guess. Do you want to go because, together? Because they they fucked up my hairline here. They gave you the turkey. Well, they when I did my face and they stapled my they they brought my hairline down. He like I didn't have this before. Oh, they're and they're wilding. Like, it goes all the way up here and it's crooked. My this dude in Istanbul crooked. ate a little too many fucking liver cubes. He fucking fuck. I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah. They definitely should be not doing that. Uh, well, it, that was a, that was in uh, San Francisco. I got oh, my face I thought you said you went to Turkey. For no, that. I want to go to Turkey. Yeah, oh, I want to go to Turkey. Oh, no, and get this hairline fixed. I'm trying there. to get this fixed because this is like bad. <laughs> It's yeah. bad. It's, it's bad. It's bad out there for me because if I ever want to. It's bad out there for me. <laughs> it is. It's rough in these streets for a straight white Bro, male. You sharpen that your personality like so much, people forget about anything that goes on in your head, Bro, Trust me. True. So, right. I'm hilarious in the dark. I don't know about like, that. Like, do you have sex in, with the lights on? Yeah. You have sex with lights on? You have sex with the lights on. Obviously, you guys are both hot. I fuck in the dark. In the dark? Yeah. Yeah, because shit. you're not supposed to. You think I can keep yeah, your girl wet looking like you me? You definitely have sex in the fucking light. Swear to God. Stop playing, Swear bro. to God, 90% of my sex has been right in now. the dark. <laughs> Helen Keller would feel me and be like, I'm good. Yo. She'd be or, like, or, yeah. like, She'd be like well, you know what? No. She's no. like, I'm good on that. I'll pass, right? She's like, wow, you have a really big dick. I'm like, yeah, sure do. <laughs> nah, but what's it called? What's so, so do you... Another question for you, because I'm, I'm I'm sorry, I'm just very interested no, in okay, how this works. Because okay. I never got a chance to really sit down with somebody. You know what? I never. You don't understand the level of confidence that takes. Because I don't have that. Oh, D, yeah. It's just from the sure. surgeries to dude. I talk about being like I'm tough on the internet, blah 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 blah. But like you know, it's hard to not let comments bother you, right? You got to own them <clears throat> half the time yourself, so that you take yeah. the poison out, right? I call myself ugly and fat. Just because it hurts less when I say it than when someone else says it, and I feel like I'm getting ahead I of mean, it. I mean, sometimes right. people point out the truth in the comments too, and I'm like, "Yo, it sucks. I got to fucking pff, yeah." Like, have you had what stuff in the comments bother you where you're like, "I gotta go fix that"? Uh, I feel like my voice, honestly. I think that's the one thing that at first I was like, oh, "I'm never gonna get my voice done," and now I'm like, "I might get my voice done," just because like that's the pretty much the only thing I think that people have on me that they're like, "Oh, I know that you're trans because of your voice." Because I don't try to change my voice at all. Like I can talk more feminine if I want to, but can you honestly, can you talk more masculine too at the same time? Uh, you can switch I, it up. I guess I, I I sound so weird doing it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to you it's already like yeah. Yeah, I'm to good you on that. it sounds like a caricature, just like me yeah. talking like you would sound like a caricature. Yeah, but right? she yeah. but she sounds and looks just like every other Eastern European chick I've ever met. I'll be honest with you. Like yeah, it's not like it's not like anything I don't see. Like you know. Is, yeah, is yeah you don't you don't really like i don't really have like the baritone like I, sometimes i do but not really but then in, you sound um, like an eastern european chick that <laughs> smokes a lot of newports you know what i'm saying you have a little you work out that rasp but i'm telling you yeah. the rasp and a chick is one of the hottest things a chick with a raspy voice sometimes you're like oh man I like miley raspy cyrus voices. sounds like a truck driver but you're like yeah a truck driver gets my <laughs> dick hard uh, well, so can i just last question and i must i must yeah. be annoying you but um basically when you let's say meet up with somebody in a club right and you see it's a dude and mm -hmm. you don't you yourself are not sure if he's gay or straight if you run up on him and he's straight uh, everyone's and, and everyone's straight, convincible and he and if he's straight do you sell him and at one point do you tell the guy like yo homie by the way just letting you know um gay guys don't like girls so i feel like I one time I was like hitting on a guy and he was gay and he was just like oh honey I'm gay and I was like oh shit I did not know so but do you masculine. follow up be like hey I do have a dick though uh, but I think they just don't like girls so they they're not like, attracted yeah, yeah they don't like it's the, the same way femininity. as if I saw a so, dude with tits right yeah. you'd be like yeah she got tits like a girl would but like I gotta stare at her face yeah exactly. But when a guy, uh, so if I'm at a club, I'm talking to a guy. Mm -hmm. um, like if I'm feeling the vibe, it's gonna go intimate. Like in like 20 minutes, uh, I feel like if like the vibe is nice, then I'll tell him like, hey, by the way, um, I'm trans. And sometimes they say yes. Sometimes. But they do say you no. do that before kissing him, or uh, do you do that uh, after? Yeah, yeah, before. Before. Oh, okay. Definitely not. I'm not gonna. Kiss what do you think way. about like? What do you think about people that do that? And they like don't say nothing and they try to suck in the dude and like kiss this, that, that. Yeah, I think what that's fucked up. What do you think about up. that? That's grimy, I right? I think that's fucked up. Um, I know that sometimes like girls yeah. will be like, 
uh like they'll make out but like they have no intention of like fucking the guy right so i think that is maybe some great area Dude. where i'm like um oh, like i mean nah, I don't if care i'm getting that. a guy buying me drinks and i know i'm not gonna fuck him i'm not gonna tell him i'm trans oh yeah yeah because she's your like, fucking typical woman she just wants free drinks <laughs> that's where you were like yeah that's that's a chick no but I but if that. i come <laughs> home with a chick with a and then later she pulls out her dick you just got to look at it like when you're eating food you've never tried before, right? You're I like, I, I lie just, to Estee all the time. Yeah. She's like, what is that? I'm like, it's it's chicken. And then she eats it. She's like, I love it. I'm like, it wasn't chicken. But if I told you what it really was, she would never have tried it. Right. So by the time I get, you know, I bring home a chick, she's got a little, a little penis. I'm like, <laughs> little I mean, penis. so do I. So, and, and it's interesting that you say the club thing. <sighs> but but I, And I, to me, it's it just. That's how we met. Yeah, and it, and it's just interesting because the intera- interactions <laughs> interactions in the club are so weird sometimes. Does it ever get to the point where you get out of character and something aggressive happens and you're like, yo, my man, I'm going to fucking crack like, you right Yo, now. if a like, guy grabs you, are you like, you. bro, like, back Yeah, up. do you ever like look at him and like, yo, my man, you do one more thing, I'm going to fucking rock you. Cause yeah. you, I, really, cause you I feel like I'm not really aggressive like that. I feel like I used to be back at the beginning of my transition just because of like, the hormone changes and like fucking going feeling like you're going crazy but honestly now i feel like i'm way more passive and like chill there are times when because i used to be a dancer and i used to strip so definitely i have like that like mean streak and like that dominance uh-huh. but i also used to dance at strip clubs when they didn't know i was trans because mm-hmm. i was dancing at straight clubs and I like oh. scores in tampa and lookers and so i was like i would just duct tape and everything down there and hide it and, and they wouldn't know no did the owners know no no one knew oh no. so you played everybody yeah shit. well because i was trying to just make money and i'm just like every time they would try to touch them like oh and i have a boyfriend so i would just oh. play that game of just being a good girl i have a boyfriend it's called a penis <laughs> it's just great i just wonder one there's never there's really never been a day where somebody really stepped up and that side of you kicked in because you you said it it's only dangerous. happened at 20 mm. right so you still had moments as a guy back in the day mm-hmm. where you still had to show out and be like yo what up like yeah and step up well i mean i feel like even now even as a girl i feel like sometimes there's, there's times when i just have to if a guy is not like taking no as an answer he's being fucking weird mm-hmm. and of course i'm gonna be like bitch what the fuck yeah back the fuck up yeah, yeah. But, but i don't think that's like a manly thing i think that's just like a like a thing in general well there's also a way to do it where it's yeah. feminine right oh uh, yeah but there's but there's also what i'm saying like if it ever happened out of character it'd be like yeah. oh shit all right my uh, bad. Like, i don't know i don't my think fault. like i'm not gonna yeah. like she's like hold my earrings she'd be like yo homie Let's honestly go. keep playing around i'm really gonna duff you hold out my tits <laughs> well, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't give me my balls like, <laughs> yeah. really that point it's like I don't know. I feel like it's never in character. That shows strength, like, though. Yeah, that's good. That's good that you stay in, in the pocket like that. Like you never let you know. You never let some shit like bring you back to be like. That's Yo, what man, makes man, I grew up on a farm. I'll fucking rock you out. Yeah, you know? I'll throw you like a bale. Yeah, of because head. I feel like at that point, like it, like doing that, it was just it always feels unnatural anyway. So I wouldn't resort back to that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good answer for sure. I feel like that would be. Yeah, we met Emma and I met in a nightclub, uh, and we've never when we met. I had no idea she was trans. The only reason I realized she was trans, like we we reconnected in 2020 during the yeah. pandemic, uh, and we were like we we have this 12 inch dildo we made oh and God, we put on Instagram. This is a hilarious story. We put on Instagram. I was like, "Yo, I need someone to come model this 12 inch dildo." Emma, amongst a bunch of other girls, message like, "I'm gonna do it." I'm down. I'm looking through and it's like gross, 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 gross. I'm like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Let's check out my rose. Wants to, she's going to put this 12 inch dildo in her ass? Bring her. As she's like on the way, I'm like, okay, let me do a little research. I just want her to show up and not me not be like, oh, hey, I'm like, oh, right. I know a little bit about you. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, Emma's trans. I'm like, this is great. Yeah. This is great. For sure. It's so awesome. It's so. Mm-hmm. I think it's I awesome. Love, I think I it's personally awesome. think it's awesome. I think it's awesome because it's like, it's, ah, you're just so much better than a real woman. <laughs> I, I talk about this all the before, time. That was before I had my face done, my body done. My, when my we face. first met? That was before fully. any When surgery. we first met as a, when you were yeah. modeled for us the first time. That was before But any this is why too. Emma's dope is because she's willing to go into the dark places with me and she's fine making fun of herself in the mm. same way that well, you we see, all make fun well, of each that's other. That's what I fuck with. That when, somebody, when someone is playing, is staying in the pocket and they're not a crybaby, 
they own it mm-hmm. and they rock with it where they're like they're not gonna make a crazy blog post or this oh, yeah, or that they sure. just walk away and they're like yo my man yeah, not a victim well, cause it's like, I don't like the victim shit that's the thing you, is know? Like, you have to you can't be proud and be a victim at the same time you no pick one. correct I agree ironically there's a ton of proud victims and yo and I, <laughs> fuck, crazy. And I really People, fuck with that and it, victim it, isn't a personality trait yes. and that's what it's become and it's like dude you're a strong woman like yeah and to me, equality has always been like, I want to treat you equally, mm-hmm. both in respect, but also in humor. Yeah. Like if I can make fun of, you know, when we did Ryan's podcast, I was like, <laughs> you make the Jew jokes at me, I'll make the trans exactly. jokes at you. And they're both hilarious because we can both step out of who mm-hmm. we are and just be like, yes, that's just funny. Has there been, yeah, has, but you see going back to what you just said about being a proud woman, have you ever, because I have imposter syndrome mm-hmm. as far as like, entertainment goes sometimes yeah right anything that i do sometimes i question i doubt and this that the yeah. third do you ever get imposter syndrome in a sense of like being a woman around uh, woman uh, yeah Ooh, definitely when i've been getting in my transition i feel like i i did now i feel like um i feel like it's like hard to explain but i think it's like i've become so comfortable in mm-hmm. my skin as a trans woman right and like like my community body and also yeah. because of porn i think porn played a big role in that because you have to but, be very confident yeah. yeah and i think that um at the beginning of my transition i was very insecure about being a woman because like i had approved that i was a woman and now i'm like if you call me a guy i'm like okay let's suck my dick you know what <laughs> I mean? it's like kind of like that energy it's like you just have to roll with it and you accept like who you are and where you've come from and like how are you It's like you comics, are. right? When yeah. you get booed on stage 24-7, sooner or later you got to be like, I don't care. Literally. You know what I mean? That's it. Exactly. And I fuck with that because I personally think there should be also more awareness from that corner of of, of that to mm-hmm. explain to the people that are transitioning that, yo, homie, you better be ready. Yeah, yeah, but the but problem sure. is the problem comics, is she's right? not... They tell you, they're like, yo, you're going to bomb and you're going to make get made fun of mm-hmm. and you got to know that that's going to happen if you want this career. And I think the same shit goes in that, in that corner too, mm-hmm. right? They should explain like, yo, you want to enter this? Then you better know that you, that you got to own it. No, you're going to you know? be criticized, right? right? It's like a musician being like, I want to be famous. You're like, yeah, but look what it did to Britney, right? Like, you got to be able to take all the heat. You want to be this? You have to understand you're going against norms, for sure. right? Sure. Whether if you want to be a singer, that's going against norms. Most people have a day job. You want to be the yeah. Britney Spears, like, you have to be so strong, to like anything, 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 yeah. anything. You it, can't, and that's why and I, that's, like, I have yeah. imposter syndrome because I'm like, oh, I'm not as funny. I'm not as witty. Uh, everything I'm doing is just like I'm coasting. I'm not really progressing. What is my contribution mm-hmm. to this world? For sure. All this shit. Uh, 100%. And I totally. I agree. And I. that's why I like that you guys. That's why I really respect. This is why I hate America right now. It's because everyone's a proud victim, and I don't like that. I I'm, I was a. a uh, you we know. also give voices to the people on the extremes. Well, most of us are like this. Then, yeah, we could have you know most of the people that are probably screaming anti trans shit at her would never in person open their mouth like that. Never, of course. Right, most of those people would gladly lick her ass and hang out right now and just chill over here and talk. Yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. I agree. I'm a you. big fan of tits. Like I'm a tit guy. Like boobs to me are awesome. And you take boobs over booty all day. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yeah. That's a little. Weird. You know what? Like, look, Estee's got an ass. She ain't got it's weird no that tits. You say that <laughs> Estee is at home waiting for you. And yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like to me, to me, uh, the boobs are far superior to an ass. And I've always talked about this because uh, natural or fake? F- far superior. Just, or, or it, it doesn't even matter. matter. Well, it's funny because fake butts aren't. They're just getting normalized. Yeah. But it's still weird to me when a girl has a fake butt. I don't know what that is. I'm okay with fake tits. I've gotten right. used to that. And I and I think they're... Emma's got the base... Hands down, also the best fake tits. And there was a you moment... You sound like you almost were the doctor. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You have no idea. There was there was uh, one time I think I FaceTimed Estee annoyed. She was annoyed at me for something. Well, Estee gets annoyed at me because I constantly bring up fake tits. Because I just like, I'm always like, hey, I'll stay like one day, you know, we'll get you some, some fucking, <laughs> some udders, right? And she oh. always gets annoyed by that conversation, which I totally get. If I stay every week brought up, Kirill, let's get you a dick extension, I'd be uncomfortable <laughs> too. So yeah, she, I, you were, first time yeah. Emma came to see us when she got her new tits, oh, yeah, they're I called now. Estee and she was like, I don't know, whatever. She's like, you're just being annoying, Kirill, about fake tits. And then the, the next time Emma and Estee hung out, 
And Emma showed Este her tits. Este was like, yeah, these are the most perfect fake tits. And they're attached to a so Este non- does. So low-key, Este wants to get them. No. I think she just appreciates titties. Essay's scared of getting surgery. If they could put boobs in her while she's awake, they'll be different. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine? Fuck that. Uh, do you know that Emma's, uh, Emma, Emma's the guy who bought Emma her tits and never got to see them? I know. It was really so sad. Wait, what happened? Uh, he passed away. Who passed away? My uh, The guy who got my titties. Really? Yeah. Can you imagine? Wait, I'm sorry. I'm so, <laughs> so hold on. Daddy. Oh, and he what? And you? And he paid titties. for it. Mm-hmm. He paid for it, and then he would just. Yeah, and well, he cook. never got to see them. But what happened to him? Oh, he died because he's old. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, how old was this uh, guy? Like, uh, he's like uh, Pacino, like. 60s. like and what like, he died from? Like, as uh, soon as he bought them, like a week later, he passed uh, away. No, I maybe mean, like two months later. So, um, no, he just died. He he was already. Old, so were you oh, ever wow. worried when you were fucking him that you would kill him? No, there were some trips that we were on that I'm like, mm-hmm. you thought he was, gonna- yeah, because he was on a walker. <laughs> he was on a walker. Yeah. So Except you were like, so sex. you were like a home attendant. If I, knew, I was like <laughs> no, a companion, good. and so I pretended to be his granddaughter on this cruise. So yeah. So I like that old man's having sex with his granddaughter. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, that's n- uh, that's crazy but look if you've got money and you've got a walker and you're like on your way out of life like i'm gonna go taste the rainbow like i'm gonna go well, try everything had, i knew him for eight years so i knew him once since i was 19 and then like he had other people he had guys and trans girls and like had a whole pretty much roster that he would shuffle us through oh wow so, so yeah. he had like a fucking pokemon deck yeah literally it was, crazy. it was crazy yo so let me ask you did it pay well yeah, he paid really well. Oh, so what he was you- my he, honestly, I met him when I was in college, like when I was nineteen, and it was um, right after I broke up with my ex, and that was when I first started getting into like sex work and dancing and go going and all that. And then I met him, and I was like, "Thank fucking god!" What's right, he- if you can get a few whales to just give you cash, right? You're like, yeah. "Why do I need to go <laughs> and strip and do all this other shit when I can just put my fingers on this old guy's butt?" He and was walk away with cash. He was, he, what was he like? He owned the, like was it was this guy fucking unlimited money. Well, he, he used have, to be a CEO of the company. Oh wow, so. that's beast. What was the craziest sugar daddy story you have? Anything oh. crazy where you were like, like where they asked you some crazy requests? Oh, um, like a, like most stick- dudes just want to be fucked in the butt or suck your dick. Um, honestly, I feel like it's a very mix. A lot of guys either they want the they want to fuck me or they want to get fucked. It's like 50-50. I feel like usually it's like they like um, either a really feminine trans girl and like uh, or they want a really feminine trans girl at the top. So I feel like but there's like different types of guys like they either want like a feminine trans girl that's passable or there are some guys that like having trans girls that look a little bit manly like like you know that they were trans. But do you ever meet like one where you're like yo you're legit a tool like I'm good on you like I really don't don't need that right oh, now. Oh yeah no, for <laughs> sure for sure <laughs> you, you, definitely I mean like I feel like I'm happy that I've gotten to like, a point in my career where like if I do have a client or something or sugar daddy that like I vet them and I'm like okay if it doesn't work out or if they want to do too much I'm like mm, I don't need this. Like you're like life. a three bro like I'm <laughs> yeah <laughs> but that's why usually all, my, my clients are like good and like attractive and i usually get them from referrals from other girls in the I industry see. it's crazy yeah that's cool it's such an awesome industry because it's one of the only industries where you can just sell your body and get cash for it and i never understood why people look down on that i've so never I, understood you know you know be, you know why people look down on it people look down on and i know this is the wrong phrase but i easy know why money. people look down on it. it's not easy don't get me wrong. I'm sure if having sex with dudes you don't want to fuck isn't easy. It's but quick money. it is easier than fucking stocking shelves at fucking Vaughn's. Mm, yeah. Right? I used to work at Dillard, so. Did you? Yeah. I used to be an intern, and then I was a manager, and then I was an associate. Is this the most amount of money that. you ever made in your life? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Because, like, when I first started, um, like, dancing, even, like, it was, like, I thought that was the most money. And then when I first started porn, I was, like, holy shit, this is a lot of money. Because COVID was a lot of money for OnlyFans. And then it died down. And now it's back up, like, a lot. Just because of, like, where I am in my career. So it's definitely, like, it's been a lot. It's been very, like, the last three years. Because I started porn in 2020. So, mm-hmm. like, it's still, like, I still feel like I'm a baby in the industry, even though I'm not. Yeah, no, it's 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 interesting to uh, dive into some of this stuff to just like see the perspectives and stuff like that. Because you know, when you're not around it, you don't understand how the person thinks or how 
It's I just feel, it's just good to hear firsthand. You know what yeah, I mean? Because like, like seeing the shit on YouTube is not the same as like talking oh, to a yeah, person and sure. really fucking feeling. Well, out. it's because like on YouTube you can judge. Here you can have this conversation. Like, dude, I always want to. Like, we're always working on ourselves, right? Like, yeah. I've I've hurt every single girlfriend I've been with, right? And I try to improve myself, right? Right, but all my improvements are really more mental, right? I can't. I don't want to be a piece of shit. Blah blah blah. It's just it's just. She's just trying to find the better version of herself. And listen, and there's also, I think what this society lacks is I'm, I'm, I love being traditional. Like there's a lot of things that I love doing that are traditional, mm -hmm. but I don't, but I don't necessarily think that just because I love being traditional that other people shouldn't have a preference. Oh, for sure. You yeah. understand what I'm trying to say? And I think that more people need to learn how to do that. Like, just because I, I enjoy my traditional values and certain things that I do and preferences, mm. that doesn't mean I can't have a dope conversation with you. Right, but that's you understand because, what I'm but trying yeah, to tell you? But because you like a traditional, look, I'm a traditional guy. Like, I want, uh, you know, you, you, you were sold on this, like, white picket fence, family, dog, yeah. shit. Well, like, every tradition day. feels safe and, like, warm, right? But think about all the people in this world who you look up to not one of them is traditional. So what we, do you mean? Oh, we want. And that's not true. I mean, that's not necessarily no, no, no. true. Think though. about traditional. <laughs> Most people who you look up to didn't live, didn't do things that like a traditional person would do to achieve greatness. But that's also, that also depends, right? That depends also who you're around and what you do. You, you obviously have a different way of saying that. I'm not traditional. She's not well, traditional. You're not, tradi you're not yeah. traditional. Kyle's not traditional. You know, it's traditional. My fucking mother, right? Cause my mom is scared and that's what traditional to me is. What do you mean? Is, why am I not traditional? Give me a reason why I'm not bro, traditional. Bro, you're, you're, on, you're, you're. Why? Because of social media? Yeah. Cause you're willing to take risks and most traditional people don't yeah, take but risks. I still, I still also don't go past a certain uh, like certain integrity of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, you filter out certain situations yeah, and you're like, sure. I'm good. You have your own value scale, right? Yeah. And I have that too. Like I'm not, I'm not going to hold myself no. to certain, a, a certain extent to, to just get cloud or certain, or do certain things. Oh yeah, for sure. You understand integrity. what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I still have a certain traditional but, cap for things that I would and wouldn't do. And there's a reason why my following, let's say is not fucking, I can go in, and hold myself out and do crazy shit for content. But I just choose not to because I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'll figure it out. Like, right? Because you're scared. No, because, you don't think so. No, because I, I also think don't I'm scared. Be, more. I also don't enjoy the the fake part of uh, of like certain people. Like I've gotten into circles with people and I meet them. I'm like, yo, I don't fuck with you, bro. I just don't fuck with you, and I don't want to make content with you just just to like lie to myself. If I if you have like, three million followers and I genuinely have to go around a ring of fire to fuck to like do yeah. content with you, I'm not doing that. Like, yeah, it's, I, I mean, but some would say that that's a bad thing. Some would that's say fine. that the people who don't say no and plow through the uncomfortableness cool. come out the other side because it looks at it this way, right? If Netflix like, Kirill, do you want to go? We're dropping the biggest show on Netflix, but it's a show where it's like gay dating. Okay. I'm not gay, oh, wow. but they're like, if you go on it, like you're going to wake up with a million followers, new followers. That's, I mean, I'd be like, you know what? At a certain point in my life, it's not traditional. Look, if you asked me 10 years ago, would I spit milk into a transgender's mouth? I'd be like, no, like that's not something I would do. No, but 10 like, years last ago, week, you would. <laughs> last week I did. I know. Right. So our, 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 our things change, right? Like my mom mm -hmm. never smoked weed. Now, cause I smoke it. She's like, all right, I'll try it. Like, mm. I think there's humans change. No, that's fine. Sure. Yeah, for sure. And I, that's what I'm saying. That's why those conversations are important. She's she's you caught know? in this in this revolution right now, where she's not. You know, before this whole like trans movement, it was like more quiet. Now it's yeah, public. Even in 2017, when I transitioned, right, like, it was right. Like she's in the middle easier. of this fucking thing, and it's not fully established yet, right? Like trans people aren't necessarily that welcome in this country. The same way. You know, and it's not hard to even gay people define work. what a trans person is. Because I feel like there's so many different like definitions. But I think the community people. also has a pro caused that of an issue too a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, they we're cause always, a lot of confu we're confusion with that. With yeah, it, yeah, but that happens in every group, right? right? Like between Jews and Christians and sure. fucking any yeah. any group of people that has more than one person in it, you're gonna be like, right? It's gonna take generations and generations to establish certain like. You know, oh, yeah, for sure. but it's yeah. fucked up to me because I still go back to religion and the fact that we let re religion is never judged by its worst people, but trans people or black people or any other minority is always judged by the worst person, right? No what one's, do you mean? 
right? Like if a trans person commits a school shooting, like that, that person that, did, yeah. right? It instantly goes, the whole entire that person community. is, it's like, that's a representative of their entire community. Same thing with the cop though. If a cop kills somebody, it's the same shit. It's, it's vice versa. It, it plays on both ends because America loves doing that. That's just this country. This is the norm here. They enjoy it. As soon as something happens and there's a group of people that have something against you, they use it. They're like, hell, let's go. It's, it's like go time. It's fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, it's go time. For them, it's go time. As soon as something, somebody slips up, one se- one millisecond, they're like, yo, that's it. You're done. And now everyone's like, like yeah. so the chronic Let's grab online, it. anyways. That they're just like, right. And you're get, plus, you're getting fed all this shit in your algorithms now. Right. Like, I feel like um, you're in your own echo chamber, right? You're yeah. like, dude, it happens to me. I'll post shit, and I'm like, yeah, this is clearly for my followers, and they're gonna love it. But yeah. I'm not really like <sighs> agreeing with it. Or yeah, yeah, it's. <sighs> I don't know. It's it's interesting though how everything is is happening. There's gonna be a lot of good from it too, you know. But right now the country is just such at so many different divides that it's just it's gonna oh, take yeah. some time. It's that gonna take some time crazy. for everybody to come together, you know. And that's okay. They just gotta like people gotta accept trans people in the same way like these fucking white Karens accept fake purses, <laughs> right? It's like I know you're not. That's not a real Gucci bag. Right, but you're still fucking wearing it like it is. So why don't you calm the fuck down, right? You're okay with a, a trans purse. Why are you not okay with a trans person? Yeah. But also, I feel at the same time, like respect goes two ways because there are a lot of times, like the people, especially online, it's like trans people that are like so like angry and yeah. attack everybody, which I don't agree with that. But also, I'm like it's like keyboard warriors. But that because then that makes you, the, the the crew look bad. Oh yeah. yeah. And, 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 and it goes back to her definition of what is like we don't we can't even define this because I talk about this to this day. The language we're allowed to use is comes from uh, what group you belong to, right? Exactly. Like black people can say the N word, but you can look at a black person and be like, that person's black. I get it, right? Like the same way a gay person can use the word, f- right? But it's hard to define what's gay because mm-hmm. you can't see it on someone, right? Yeah. Like if you see a flamboyant guy like with a shirt, you know, the caricature know. of a gay guy being like, hey, what's up? You'll be like, all right, he gets a pass. <laughs> but if I walk in there and go, yo, what's up? Half the people will be like, yo, is he allowed to say that? Or do I have to present this whole, here's all the right. dicks resume, the resume. Like, Here's my the, resume. Especially right. like the masculine gay guys too that are very like straight passing that like, or the trans people um, that are cis passing. Like a lot yeah. of times, yeah. like I feel like I've been um, treated differently because like in like, a gay club, because someone thought that I was cis, and then I they have told them I was trans, and they treated me like cis, like sister. No, no, no cis, cis is like, a, like, oh. uh, like, biolo- <laughs> like biological, oh, uh, like a biological. Like a biological. So they thought I was a biological oh, okay. woman, and then I said that I was trans, and then like they treated me like way more friendlier. But that's not cool either. Right? Yeah, I know. That's fucked up. And I was going to ask you, um, and anyone that calls a trans woman a liar should also look at the normal straight women who literally, name one straight woman that doesn't do exactly the same routine pretty much she does besides getting, they all get the surgeries, straight women get surgeries, they wear makeup. None of these bitches look like themselves half the time anyways, right? You meet a girl on the on the internet and then you meet her in real life, you're like, that's not even the same human being. Mm-hmm. You might as well also be trans, job, right? Else. Like, so it's a really weird culture that we only single out trans people and they're like, what they're doing is weird. You're like, well, what a normal girl's doing is just as fucking weird. She's lying to me the entire time. Well, everybody time. lies. You should, so it doesn't matter who we should, every date should start in the shower. <laughs> be like, let me see you as you in the sauna yeah yo what was it gonna tell you uh do you go to the sauna uh sauna do you uh, like going to places sometimes being like a chick and then like once in a while just open up your legs uh, no i definitely i don't go to any of those i don't go to anywhere that i can like expose my genitals just because i feel like that's just like that's just weird yeah i I guess it kind of because you feel like asking for attention almost kind of like yeah and i feel like it's just like like i don't want to make anyone else uncomfortable right so you have a responsibility to not make your own community yeah. looked at as perverts. I respect yeah. that. Which is fucked up because, you know, a part of you still has a little bit of male in you where like, 
we're perverts. Yeah. Yeah, but there's gay I, guys I that do that. The, do that all the time in the steam rooms oh, and Equinox. Like, yeah, like, it's, guys, yeah. it's like, homie, you, he, he's, I'm chilling just with my boy talking. You really got to spread your whole crotch and right. look at me. Like, what is the point of that? To me, that's annoying. I've never like, I would never do that to a girl. Yeah, Dude, exactly. and the whole bathroom situation is so weird to me. They're like, I don't want to... I don't want to look at di- girls that are like, I don't want to see a transgender's penis. I'm like, I don't either in a men's right. room. It's like, I'd rather the so, women have yeah. all the dicks. Give me the girls in here. <laughs> like, I'm all for I guess it comes down because pollinating bathrooms. I guess, you know, I guess over the years, the people that were victim to, to not being able to be themselves, it's their goal right now to be like, yeah, we're going to have fun with this, you know, type of thing almost, you know, it's like, we're gonna, right. And the like, other the side, bathroom, it's just like, go in the stall. Right. And the, like, yeah, who's like, fu- I've never been to a bathroom where I'm like, when I go to a public restroom, my goal is to get out of there as fast as I can Literally. possibly get. Who's lingering around trying to show their dick to people in the bathroom? Weirdos, bro. Weirdos. Right. Like people that are fucking trying to get a reaction and they want to feel some type of way and make you feel some type of way. It's weird, bro. It's like any person that's doing that, you're obviously like you got issues, my man. Like it yeah, doesn't matter what it is. You got mental issues. Like if you're really out here fishing for attention like that, then it's, you're weird. And yeah. what was I going to ask you? You ever had moments where rappers hit you up but you don't gotta drop their names obviously. oh yeah of course some fucking serious ones yeah <laughs> uh, it's not Vlad TV I'm uh, not gonna you know, ask no, you're forgetting questions. though dude you're forgetting that at any level of success once you've you know when, that's why people talk about like Jeffrey Epstein and all that shit like those billionaires like they've done everything the last thing that's left for them is to fuck children right so like Whoa. I'm just saying, like you just you've gone through it. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying, imagine you've done it all, right? So, a lot. You're of saying, people, I think that's why I think a lot of times, like uh, working with a lot of guys in porn that have been like fucking like cis girls forever, like over and over. Uh, not a lot of them are coming over and filming like trans content now. But um, honestly, I've been with like rappers. I've been with politicians. I've been with like country singers. I've been like all around. Around, around the block. Were you around but, like a rapper where you're like, yo, I need, can you can't even believe that this homie's into this? Oh well, I feel like I feel like everyone's kind of into it at like some point when they're that big. Yeah, because it's wow. it's about it's also chasing a little bit of like the the Not high like this is exotic. This is exa- it's like someone yeah. who's coll- has Ball like a pet too? ostrich, right? You're like, oh, I, I also have a, a dog. Like I can have a dog or I can have a pet ostrich. I could fuck another fucking fangirl. Or I'm gonna fuck this fucking woman plus, right? It's like <laughs> HBO Max of women, so right? Woman Disney, plus. right? That's it's crazy. Like, it's really that's, woman that's plus all is it is. It's it's just being like, you know, when I go to another country, I'm gonna try the local cuisine that I normally wouldn't at home, right? So it's kind of like. That's also I feel like why like, a lot of times older guys too. It's just an. Ex- this is just a hole. Right. These are all just meat holes, right? Like we attach so much <laughs> meaning to all of this, but you're like. I put hot dogs in my mouth when I eat them. Why is I putting mean, listen, hard dick in my mouth they're, weird? They're, they're, for you, I guess, and listen, you, you might have that like free-spirited um, opinion. Me? Yeah. No, you're just afraid of the public finding no, out. I don't, give a, I, fuck. I don't I, give a fuck about that. I just personally think even when I had sex with girls that I knew it was easy and it wasn't like anything that was attached to it. Mm. I walked away afterwards. I'm like, yo, I felt less than. I'm like, why did I even give her attention? Right. So it has nothing to what? do. It has nothing to do with the every fact- sexual experience I've ever had. I walk away being like, sweet, I got laid. Right. I you don't go- maybe. You maybe. Yeah, because I'm ugly. No, you're hot. Once, once you again, guys that has nothing no, to do it with has it. Has no, val- it's you're, not. You're, you're, Trust you're, me. You're Can hot. you relate to what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you're yeah, hot. So you're hot. Give you're hot. You, can I'm like, you explain uh, to him what I'm? What I'm? Yes, sp- because you're, like, you're hot. Splaining it. No, to me. it's not that. I'm telling you, it has nothing to do with that. I feel like it's just like people who do. They just don't respect you. So it's just like you feel like you're giving that energy, and that's just like. Oh, it's just stuff. no value out of it, bro. If you're yeah, like you say, like you feeding for for sex, then yeah, no problem. You walk away and you're like, oh, you feel satisfied. But there's also that turn where even if you feed for it and you get it, you're like, bro, this is whack. This yeah, it's okay. I've had shitty meals. I still go eat again. Yeah, but then you realize you're like, I want less shitty meals. Well, Just because you have holes in fucking ears and your mouth and your ass doesn't mean you're just going to be out there fucking <laughs> getting cocked out 24-7. You know what I mean? Like, there's a certain point where you're like, I'm good. Like, we're good. Like, I'd rather just have one solid situation and be like, yeah, I'll just keep it at that. Yeah, I disagree with you. And I think you're, you're just, you're, you're, you're not able to look at sex the same way I am because you guys have been present, you have the option to turn down sex. But you never, how do you know that when I was growing up? Because you're good looking. That's not true. You're good looking. Yeah, but you when have, I was an immigrant, every I could, woman's been dodging cocks their whole life. That's why dick isn't like, women aren't, 
rapists oh. as much as men. Bro, but you also, as you see what, 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 what she was saying, that when, when you're growing up as a kid, you're still trying to find your lane, mm-hmm. right? When you're as a boy, you're trying to be more masculine, you're this, yeah. you're that. Some of that comes off corny to girls. Oh, yeah. And girls sometimes are like, yo, my man, I'm good on you. And how do you know? When I was growing up, that, that took a while, right? When you're developing that, you're trying to when find you your also, angle. You it doesn't matter how good looking you are. Girls feel that all for you. They're like, yo, I'm good. Like, you're weird. I'd rather go with the older dude that has a fucking BMW and just oh. bang him. You know what I mean? So that's still, that those moments you still remember and you're like, damn, like I'm fiending to get something and they're not giving it to me. And then everyone's like, oh, you're so cute. And like, oh, well, that's awesome. I'm cute, but I'm not getting laid. You know what I mean? So you, there's ways also to- I also feel like it's different. Because where did y'all grow up? I, well, I grew up in East Ukraine and, and, I, and then I moved when I was 10, 11 years old. And then it took me a little while to like, you know, to like yeah. get more Americanized. Wait, so where did you, where did you move to where? I moved from Ukraine to America. Uh, what part of America? Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay. You yeah. see, that, that's the difference though, because like, I feel like New York and then like Florida, if I grew up in Florida, it was very country. It's like, like completely different attitudes and behaviors, especially like, even as like growing up. Well, it's also more aggressive in New York, right? Oh, yeah. New York is shit. a talking town. Like, I feel like people, New Yorkers are just easy. I Like, I learned how to get laid by talking you you love you make it sound like you haven't had sex till you were 30 years old and started banging at like 32 so i can tell you that 90 percent of the girls i fucked were attracted to who i am as a person versus what i am what i look like but don't you want that more no why not you rather be a surface good looking guy and yeah. not have a good personality think about how many hotter girls in this world i would have taken down Homie, SD is a good looking chick. Yeah, yeah, that's right? what I'm settling down. That's what I'm settling down with, right? That's what I'm saying. But before that, it was rough for the kid. I took what I could get. You know, once in a while you hit a few nines. <laughs> but most of the time, I'm like twos. Like if Emma and I met when we first met in Queens, I don't think she would have fucked me. <laughs> well, honestly, you lost a lot of weight and everything since then. I told him the same thing. You lost a lot yeah, of weight. See? Hmm. My, ex was, um, my ex was <laughs> five four. And like, the same thing with him is like he had to learn through like talking and through like being social and being funny because like being 5'4". Oh, he was 5'4"? You know, yeah, my ex was 5'4". Oh, he's a little cutie pie. I like yeah, that. A little yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> he was a little roll. He was black. A little tootsie roll. <laughs> That's funny. Like, he's a little shorty. But um, yeah, and because like what got me interested in him is because he was funny, charismatic, right. he could talk, and so like short usually, dudes have to if yeah, we gotta sharpen exactly. our tools mentally. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter how good looking your face may be if you're fucking certain height in the club. Girls are like, yo, I'm good. See you exactly. Later. See you later, brother. Have a good one. Go <laughs> go on <and> recess. <laughs> go play with your boys in fucking kindergarten, bro. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, I'll still I'll, I'll still base it all on looks. Just telling you. It's just insecurities. Honestly, Honestly, you're just insecurities. Yeah, so I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm I'm still human. Yeah. Very insecure. Aren't we all? Not a lot of insecure humans can spit fucking milk into people's mouths and (laughs) drink it up. (laughs) (laughs) Three times. Yeah, Yeah, it took like three takes. Oh, my God. I shit my pants after that. Uh, Emma, I have to ask you this just because I'm just so curious because you've told me this. Is... What's the craziest procedure you've had done that probably isn't safe? Uh, it was my, um, sorry, I feel like I have to sneeze. Um, my silicone injections. Where? So, my ass. Well, I didn't actually, I haven't gotten them in my ass. It's in my, my hips. So, right here, um, I had it twice. And so, um, it's in a hotel room. And she puts like a puppy pad down on the bed so you don't bleed on the fucking what mattress okay oh so and then so anyways you're laying down flat and she marks your butt and everything and like um she gets like these she has like the silicone and like these Voss bottles like these water bottles and it's like it's almost like silicone lube it's like that's how like you, where's, where's did, this happening by the way is hotel like room a basement a hotel, a hotel and a hotel and how did you meet this person uh i met her through another trans girl because it's like a lot of girls are, this person isn't pumped. like a real doctor no they just happen to special it's like girls who are like i do lashes now right you're like <laughs> When did you just learn how to do lashes? Well, she's been she's been pumping girl forever now. I feel like so that's why I feel like. So uh, you trusted her? Yeah. Oh god, my nose is fucked. Um, crazy pollen in the room. Crazy. Yeah, crazy <laughs> pollen. Crazy last pollen. Night. <laughs> it's crazy um, dust. In she's, been, <laughs> she's been um, pumping girls for like I feel like it, over ten years. She just, so she shows up. She, yeah, she knows how. She knows like perfect. She's not gonna. Like, 
kill you. I don't, at least I don't think that's you she's would think she would have like her own house and facility. She does, she wants no liability. She's yeah. like, we're doing this at the holiday. Inn. Yeah. So she'll come to you, and then so I'm laying on my stomach, and then she's like these. Like, they had to be like probably like 14 gauge needles. Like they're fucking thick. And so she goes in, goes in your skin and goes in your muscle like deep. And then she attaches this little hose and then she pumps the silicone inside of your body. Which wow. is like and you liquid. instantly like, see it like expand? It's, yeah, it's expanding. No anesthesia, nothing? No. Emma. And so then I know. You don't feel any, were you in pain? Well, it was like. Were you a Navy SEAL? The first time it was <laughs> like, well, she, she doesn't do a shit ton. So it was like the first time it stung. It was like maybe like a. Three out of ten out of pain. I was like, starting on the second time it seared. I was like, second time because the muscle is going inside your muscles and it's ripping your muscle fibers apart. So, oh my God. Then, pa- yeah. pardon my French, but that's like a real man thing right here. Like when people are say like, <laughs> we don't want gays in the military, we don't want trans in the military. You tell me, like, who do you want out there? Yes, fucking, fucking like, yeah, but I'd be more comfortable with a man that transitioned than a woman that transitioned to a man. I'll be honest with you, because I feel like the man. It doesn't has matter. Stock, the amount of has bu- that stock already ability. You know what I mean, bro? Like, imagine people who are scared of gay people. How weak you have to be versus a chick who's like getting silicone pumped in her thighs that's what in a hotel room. You're like, Honestly, give her an AK-47 like, like and let's her go I out have, there. Like, that's what I'm saying. I I don't have a high pain tolerance, but I just endure a lot of pain <laughs> with surgeries yeah, and shit like yeah. that. Because even my face, I had my face done, and it took forever to heal. Um, and they did, I think, like ten procedures all one time. How much? How much money have you put into your body? Like hundred k, I think. It's my face bad. was sixty k. That's not bad at all. My face was sixty k. My body was five k. My face also because I almost died. I was eight k. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean? I had two abscesses because I, I ate too soon. Because I was so hungry and I could not have another fucking smoothie. So, um, since they cut inside of your mouth to shave down my jawbone. Um, oh food God. got in there, so then I got asked to decide sepsis, and then I had to have an emergency sepsis. flight. I had to get them drained. Everything is fucking crazy. Jesus Christ! I Jesus. literally, I, I literally get like stomach pains thinking about going to the dentist. Oh. Like I get nauseous thinking about that pain. Oh, crazy. Yeah, though. it's a different level of of commitment that I don't think I could ever. Like I don't want to work out to get abs. Like that's how lazy I am. Right, you like ever, I don't want to do anything. Is this feel like a, like does you ever have moments where this feels like a tattoo, the transition? You know when you get a tattoo and you're like, "Fuck, I shouldn't have gotten it." Is mm. there moments where you like wake up and you're like, "Damn, you think I'm like well, 60 years old?" I'm gonna think like, "Yo, shouldn't I've done this shit, bro?" No, I've never. I feel like I've never felt like that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Which is yeah. nice because I feel like if I did, yeah. I've I feel like I think at the beginning of my transition, I was like, "Oh, am I doing the right thing?" Because like there's so many changes, and I'm like. You're doing so many like permanent shit to your body, but now I'm like I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I feel Fire. so comfortable in my body. It's good, dude. You, it's like people who are like, oh, like she must be sad inside. First of all, you're one of the happiest people I ever met, and <laughs> I feel like I, used to I can be point sad. out a billion sad straight people. Like she must be sad. I'm like, even if she was, like, do you know? Like all of us are sad. Yeah. Right. Like, why would you care about someone else trying to make themselves happy at the cost of you know? She's not fucking like killing puppies to get fake tits. Then you'd be like, all right, maybe this is a little too far. But like, she's just getting fake tits. For sure. Dude, I know dudes that get calf implants. You're like, that's oh a God. fucking, you t- talk that's about, sad. you call, you talk <laughs> about gender affirming surgery, right? That is it. Yeah, for sure. Like men who get like pecs. Oh, they get the, they get the, the, the get your hair done. The, the height. Get your hair done. Too. This naturally got said no. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I agree. You're, you're, as far as your fam goes, uh, any it's weird between you and the fam, or you or you kind of like already figured that out. Uh, no, my dad's my best friend. Oh, uh, but I was growing up, I was always like a daddy's boy, and then like we didn't talk for a few years because um, at the beginning of my transition, I had a boyfriend, and he was like, "Oh, is like your boyfriend like, gay?" And I was so mad at him because I feel like at the beginning of my transition, I was very just insecure, so I didn't talk to him for like two years. Um, and I also like to go like pretty much away from my family because I feel like they kept on asking just questions that were like just triggering to me. But then you became, that you probably yeah. didn't even have answers to. I yet. didn't have answers right. to. So I feel like, like I was always like defending myself or like trying to like be something. Prove yourself. That, yeah. Yeah. And so honestly, I think that time away and then when I came back, I was able to articulate myself, be able to just be myself. And understand them. Well, yeah, it's like exactly. a it's like a work in progress, right? Like if you're like a painter and someone comes over every day and be like, "What's this? How are you going to do this?" You're like, "Bro, just." Give me a second. I'm figuring this out. Yeah. I'll explain it to you sure. when I'm done. Facts. Right? It's like trying to ask a comic who's just starting to do stand up. You're like, oh, what about this? He's like, bro, I don't know yet. I'm like that with my, yo, it's funny. This is a stupid example, but I'm like that with my outfit. When if I put an outfit together to go somewhere mm. and I t- and she's like, so what are you going to wear? 
And I tell my girl where I'm wearing. She's like, I don't know if that's going to look good. I'm like, look, yo, just relax. I got this, bro. <laughs> like, when you see it, it's going to be good. Yeah. And, she, and then she, like, 90% of the time, she's like, yo, it's a fire fit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's pretty much the same idea. Yeah. That was yeah. like, you putting on a Kith outfit is the same as transitioning into I don't wear Kith, home. by the way. Oh, <laughs> don't <sorry>. ever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Honestly, but, though, the beginning of my transition, it was kind of scary because, like, also, like, do you transition because. Um, d- despite if you're gonna be ugly or hot, it's like you just want to transition. So uh, there was a moment when I thought I was gonna be ugly. So I didn't because I wasn't like I, I. There's nothing worse than like you'd have to, being an ugly trans woman is, well, is hard. Because imagine you're a good looking boy trans- and then you transition. Yeah. You're an ugly girl. I was. I was a really good looking boy and then I transitioned and then like cut my balls off. I gained 25 pounds like because like a pretty fucking ballooned and then like I just felt like. It was just, I didn't know if, like, surgeries I was going to get. So sometimes, like, you can get botched with surgeries and make you look fucked up. Yeah, and you definitely, that's a big risk. It's a big risk. Well, that's also why, like, in my transition, I didn't get my tits done until five years in. I got my body done three years in. I got my face done four years in. So I waited so long to get surgery in the first place. Yeah, she's like a fixer-upper. Every year she's like, I'm trying, let's change the kitchen around. Next week, like, we're going to work on the bedroom. Yeah. Right? You're like, like, taking my time. You got to start with a day just before you get a present. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, (laughs) what'd you say? (laughs) It's a Rolex comment. Oh, okay. (laughs) You got to start with a starter watch before you get the fucking $100,000. You know what I mean? Little by little. It's cool, though. It's very cool. It's cool to see somebody that's comfortable in their own skin that carries it and and knows, you know, it doesn't get, it doesn't get. <laughs> Emma's uh, I, like, all nose candy need, tissues. Need we need more tissues? I need more tissues. Yeah, if we need, we Cut. gotta figure this. We have more tissues. Is there any more tissues around here? Or do you need more, uh, <laughs> do you need more product? Oh, God. Kyle's just gonna the, hand you a the towel. The pollen is crazy Ooh. over here. Whew. Shit. That, uh, yeah, cocaine is LA pollen. Were you good LA at sports pollen. growing up? What? Were you good at sports growing up? Uh, I was a good, I did um, cross country, but then also I did b- ballet and modern in college. But what? I was always athletic, so. Go, what, go. Why, why not get rid of the dick? Because uh, I like it. Because it feels good. You, because the, honestly. Does that feel too permanent? The Pester Jack has to say. Is that the well, one I last like, permanent thing? Like if you had to fully, fully transition, is the dick the last thing to go? Um, I feel like I'm not going to get rid of the dick just because when you get a vagina, you have to dilate. Which is like you have to like the first three months are so painful you have to stretch it like you have like these little like and you still want to like dildos almost pretty much and you have to stretch it and like, That's old like build it up and I already know I wouldn't so my pussy would close it would just it would just close inside your shirt would be straight up yeah open. but I feel like you you just. Yeah. You, you, you also want to like does the uh, cacao? Like you like to dominate. I like topping, yeah. Right, That's having also, like, having something women. sticking I out of you. I've been in in my personal life, so it's like nice having my dick. So it's does like, the cacao really get like fully like? Is it limpy or is it full blown like hard city? I've seen. Oh no, it's fully full hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, there's no like limpiness to it. Nothing. Sometimes. Right? Isn't but, it like, just blood? I feel like I have a good. I, it takes the hours every day. I take a bag of scenes, but in my personal You take Cialis every day? I take the five milligrams. Is low like low. a Flintstones it's vitamin? For your heart to do that? No, it's actually good for your blood pressure. Do you take one today? No. Oh. You, do you work out? She gets naturally hard yeah, for do. me. I do work out a lot. That's why I'm like... And they say that legs. taking Cialis and working out is perfectly fine? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, because I do the five milligrams, and then um, I take DH and Pregnolone for my prostate health, and that's why I feel like it can like, shoot loads. Did you get vaccinated? But, uh what? Did you get vaccinated? Oh, I got the J and J shot, the one, okay. the one of them in twenty twenty, I think, okay. or twenty twenty one. I always love finding out people who are like, I didn't get vaccinated because I don't know what's in it, and I'm like, <laughs> bro, everything else you've done. Oh, well, like, yeah, I so, yeah, right. fucking yeah. Snort coke from a random guy. <laughs> Straight up, yeah, fent- that's uh, that's the all everywhere. <laughs> dude. I, we've had girls come to this house. They're like, oh, I'm not vaccinated. Anyways, yeah. can I do some coke? And like, oh, I also. Like the fucking Ozempic shit. You're OD. like, everyone's right. like, I'm putting that in me. I'm like, you don't know what's in that. Yeah, you don't. That's First of all, who so cares? Matt Weird, yeah. Who cares? But yo, look into Macaru, by the way. What do you that? do like holistic stuff too? And like holistic supplements? Or you just stick to like straight medicine from... Medicine pretty much because I know it works. So mm. Okay. She's got a great hotel room doctor, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. That's her, her, doctor, I'm her doctor is a practice. But I mean, my doctor, my hormone doctor, I go to an actual doctor. For Do you I'm have to, to find, you like, when you people. have a, so, like, look, I have a, a, a general doctor, right? Like, when you transition, do you have to find a doctor that deals with trans problems and more? Endocrinologists. But I go to a men's clinic, honestly, because they, they know their shit way better than most endocrinologists. Of course, yeah, I mean. 
Because like they they subscribe like pe- peptides and testosterone and estrogen, and so like they get me all together. And you take es- uh, you say you take, tes- I take testosterone es- shots. No, I take estrogen. So I take estrogen. Oh. I do the pills now. I used to do the injections. I take estrogen, progesterone, DHEA, pregnenolone, and then I use testosterone cream. Oh wow! Um, and so it helps with that. It's so it doesn't shrink because my dick shrunk a little bit. It shrunk like oh. an inch and a half. Like on some like steroid shit, right? Oh, I need well, I need I need I those, those pills. Cutting off my balls, they shrunk. Which sucks. Yeah, but not having balls makes the dick look bigger. I should get my my balls removed. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> because then I'll be <laughs> you shouldn't. ball shaft. No. Honestly, I feel like it looks like so feminine now that I don't have balls. You have a feminine though. penis? I do have a th- I do. Of all it the do. penises, is. your penis is. is the it most feminine. It looks like it looks like a sheenus. A sheenus? It looks like a sheenus. What's looks, that? Like It looks like a, like a fem- feminine sheacock. You've never it's seen cute. like... It's just cute. It's, it's like, like ooh. Okay. Give it a little kiss. Like a little thumb? Well, it's thumb. a lot longer than a thumb. It's five, I mean, mine's five inches, so I used to be six and a half, but... Oh, so that just shrunk a whole inch and a half. They turn like violent like that, with the, taking off the nut skis like that. Oh my God, I might, be, I might have transitioned too, because I'm down. You need three pairs of balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my balls removed, my asshole removed, whatever. May, I'm like, my dick yeah. starts back here. You're about to fucking uh. glue on two more balls, bro. Yo, my boy has crazy fucking saggy balls. Oh my God. No cock though, it's crazy. It's just, it's just, it's just full balls. Huge big balls. Oh. Fucking little... Yeah. A little turd nugget. I don't oh know what's God. going on with him. I went to the sauna with this kid. I said, what kind of balls are those, bro? <laughs> Fucking balls. Yeah, like my, balls. see, I've always been uh, like, you know, there's tons of dudes that will take their dick out in situations. I'm a grower, not a shower. Same. So like my biggest fear in life has always been being pantsed. Because I'm like, Duh, it's not ready, right? When someone pantses you, they're just like, oh my god, when like I'm terrified. Soft, I look I like a Michelangelo, care. like one of those David sculptures where the dick is this big. You're like, oh. That's awful. I never. That's why he's that. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely like yeah, when I'm soft. It honestly, it's nice not having balls because it's easier to tuck. But there's some times when I'm like having. I have balls and I tuck easy. Where it's like you can't even see it. What do you mean you tuck? What do you mean like, tuck easy? Like, I, I have balls, and you could literally, if I wore a bikini. <laughs> oh. This kid just tucked his balls. Yeah, right there. I literally in. have a nice little mound. Right, well, what you do t- with the balls, like a lot of trans girls, you push them back inside your body. Oh, and they get nauseous. Yeah, right there. You ever, you ever had it set? And it goes so in. if someone kicked you in the balls, you it wouldn't is, oh, you wouldn't feel hurt. nauseous? No, it doesn't uh, hurt. I'm going to get my balls removed. That's the ultimate. Yeah. Why do we need balls? We don't. It's just to make babies, right? That's no, where. That's oh, I don't know about what you're talking about. I need balls. But I where does this, where balls. does the semen that makes the baby come from? The balls. Well, yeah. Oh, the so balls. yeah, we need the ballzinis. What are you talking about? How am well, I going to work out every day? Testosterone comes from your balls. Yeah, too. I'm not going to wake up to work out, but without my balls every day, I'm going to fucking be stupid tired every morning. Be like, uh, uh, I can, I barely get myself in the mood right now <laughs> because I'm so exhausted. Yeah. If I had no ballzinis, I'd be straight fucking laying around like a fish. That's the good thing too, like having no balls. Like I can like, work out really heavy and I won't bulk. Like it's, I won't. Yeah, remember. exactly. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Because the the T levels are fucking mm-hmm. stupid low. You know what I mean? So. And then you basically lean out. For a chick, it's good. Yeah. Right? So, so I feel like I have like so lean. Yeah. I feel like what's the next... What, what do you think? For you, balls might be... Taking off the balls might be a good thing because you want... For Greece, you're trying to get mass skinny. <laughs> so. Yeah, I also have a lot of back hair. So like I'm hoping that the balls remove that testosterone that I can finally you have yeah, like... You'll still grow nice hair. Clean. It just grows slower, I feel like, honestly, without the testosterone because I have, have my whole body... Were lasered. you a hairy person? Yeah. Yeah. But I had my whole body lasered. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't shave anymore, which is nice. It's cool. This was cool as fuck. For can me. I? Can I play a quick game with you guys? Oh yeah. So for this sure. is this is. I I just wanted to see because I think yo know, there was a funny tweet someone posted calling someone out. Some like in Twitter account posted a photo of a trans chick that like just looks like a woman, right? Like you're like mm-hmm. straight up. You can't tell the difference. And then their comment was. Shit's getting real scary out there. Look at this, right? And someone comments back, but like, bro, you just admitted that it's scary because you have to acknowledge that you're attracted to this. Literally. Right? And it's a whole lot of like, people don't really like, so here's the game. I found a few photos of trans women and Mm -hmm. a few photos of straight regular women. And I want to see if you can tell the difference because I think that's, the prejudice a lot of people have is just like... Sometimes you're like, oh, I could tell. I could tell. You won't be able to tell. 
Okay. Can I play this? I, I have a few photos. You might obviously. This is your world. You're probably like, uh, yep, no heart. Sucked her dick. Sucked her dick. <laughs> probably. Um, Kyle, can you just switch us to my laptop? Yep. I want. I want to start. Let's go with Val. I want to because Val. I just want to ask you. He just wants to catch me. You see how he's many? How, he's just how, trying to catch tell me, me if you would. If you're like, I would. Uh, that's that's. I would have sex with if her. If I put a kith out there on, on, on that one or not. Okay, Val, would you hit it or not? Mm, 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 mm. my intuition is kicking in and i personally feel like something's odd about those thighs yeah something, they're delicious something about those thighs there i'm just telling you i would have sex with every woman in the slideshow <laughs> um i don't know dude. trans or cis oh whatever i'll give it a go but trans but you would have sex with her oh no whoa i didn't say that i'm saying is that a girl <laughs> yes Regular girl, a normal girl? Born a natural woman or a transitioned male that became a woman? Okay. It's, you're at the club. She's trying to talk to you. Uh, Are you a, fucking a, smashing? Uh, no, I'm not doing it. That's Carmen Carrera. Oh, I knew you knew that. <laughs> yeah. But she said her pussy done. Oh, she did? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think so. I, I can also sure. tell by, I just saw something that I, I realized. By she the had way. her pussy done. So. She just, just looks like one of the hotter girls that I've ever seen. No, she's a good looking chick on picture, but okay. I know next. myself that. It... Oh, what's the next button? Yeah, I might have to give this one a go for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, from the factory, a male oh, wow. that re transitioned. Okay, cool. Because of the jaw, because of the jaw, right? Yeah, but I know plenty of girls with yeah, the strong jaw. That's a Filipino jaw, right? Yeah, there. that's the thing. But honestly, um, look, the, gay the or Asian not, girls look the best. The, the what? Girls, the Asian girls look the best. Yeah, yeah, but like, let me tell you this: like, even if you're anti-trans, you're catching a blowjob from all these girls, right? Like, you just don't look for, you just don't check for parts, right? It's like, like you don't want to know how hot dogs yeah, are made. Yeah, but also, I just picture eat the things look different, though. You, also, once you see the person in person, mm, yeah, it's sometimes like the Let's, mannerisms yeah, and correct. everything. That's what I'm saying. That's Might okay. Attractive. But mannerisms, first of all, you know how many real <laughs> cis girls I know that no, belch, yeah. burp, that I'm like, you're a disgusting animal. Yeah, like some f like sorority girls. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a regular trick, no? Nope. Wow, that, my friends, good. is an original male. Her name is Enos Rao. I mean, that's. Mm. You know, I literally. Enos. I literally <laughs> it, like, like, she's the, so the, tiny. She's fucking delicious. It looks like Lady Gaga, bro. It is. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. I'm trying to see bro, if you would be she like. Looks like she serves me coffee at coffee spot. But I'll tell you what, I'd fuck all the fucking penis having girls before her. Damn. So you're trying to fucking rip a lady. He's trying to rip Lady Gaga. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you that there might be more feminine original males than like original well, females. Also, but the one also thing too is like a lot of times when you transition early, because I know some girls that um, transition when they're 12. And like you, they would you never know because they never went through puberty. And that also, there you go. And but yo, at the same time, don't forget the surgeries are stupid fire right now. So let's not, you know what I mean? Like obviously, right? It's like me so seeing a girl on Instagram, being like she's hot, and you see her in person, but yeah, like, I'm like, bro. Yeah, but so like at that point, like when the surgery is that good. At what point do you stop caring what the original was? It's like, dude, it's like you buy a car and you put your own new rims on it. Like it's no longer a stock car, right? right? Are you like, that's no longer a Beamer? You're like, no, well, that's just a Beamer with new rims. Well, the trans girls who get their pussies done. And sometimes like, exactly. they, they literally see, looks just like, like normal. Yeah, if, yeah the, I've, if it I've fools you, then it's it. I've a couple of post-ops. Like, and I've had one post-op where I'm like, okay, this it's definitely like a weird pussy and then I've had a post-op where like it literally is everything like she's a clit she's everything intact do they feel is the feeling still there the same yeah way? some girls still get wet too so oh wow that's like, crazy yeah. that's insane but yeah I guess you know what it comes down to it's like you know when you do uh, like Heath Ledger used to say he Method said acting yeah when he said when he would go into to do an audition he would walk out and be like I fooled them I got them like it's basically the same thing, right? If the if the operation is so good and everything is so solid, and you catch somebody and then they find out, like you can't get mad. You're like, yo, this, this shit was just set up good, and like, yo, it's, it is. This what is it great. Is. Yeah, it is what it is. I got, but then you have to, if you let's say didn't like it or something about it was you bo was bothersome, then you just stay away. 
Yeah, Dude, you, you know like how many things? You know? Yeah, but do you know how many girls I've had sex with that things about them bother me? Right, doesn't stop me from enjoying them. Right, right. Like a girl. Oh, I'm not a, arguing with you. Yeah. I'm just saying that I've maybe- had sex with a girl with one leg before. Right, like yeah. you're like that's what's the, the, it, the, Emma just has more parts. She's got the parts that girl <laughs> was that missing. Right. That's it. She had the mechanic. They just Why didn't would you be mad when you go to a restaurant? <laughs> you go to a restaurant. And they bring you extras. You're not pissed, right? You hang out with Emma, you're like, oh, she got a dick. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a uh, free- Some people, some people get yeah, really, some people just don't like dick, though. Yeah, that's what I'm trying so, to say. Some people are going to be like, I don't like dick either, but I also don't like cilantro. I move it to Chill. the side of my plate. Like, like me if, I, if I want to fuck Emma and the dick turns me off, I'll just play with her titties and Stick finger her butthole. Right? Like, why do I have to? You're just a, you're just a settler, bro. <laughs> that's what it is. I'm not a settler. I think he's open. I'm not a settler. Nope. Nope. I am an optimist and I find the beauty in everything. Oh, so that's artistic. It. That's that's what it is. But I, I I could look. I can. You could literally show me a dumpster fire of a human, but if she has her toenails painted nice, I'd be like. But it's kind of yeah, you say that, but if you lived in fucking Koreatown and you were around fucking in a nice building but surrounded by fires, you would move to Sherman Oaks, wouldn't you? Or you'd be an optimist and stay. I would be an optimist and stay. So, uh, that's bullshit. I'm just telling you. <laughs> uh, woman or stri- uh, 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 Emma, what are the, fr- how do I phrase this? Without- a trans woman or biological girl? Biological. I think it's biological. I would say biological. It is a biological woman. Yeah. I guess the first one so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking Amazon's fucking. Uh, Jeff Jeff Bezos bro, that's wife. Jeff Bezos' wife. Oh, yeah. God. And you fucking tell me some bro's like, I'd rather hit nah, that. No, she does. She if, does look like. She doesn't look like a natural. If we're shirt. discussing masculinity yeah. and that's the only thing that turns someone off, I like agree. a guy, like that's way more masculine. She definitely looks like than, she deadlifts like 700 pounds yeah. for sure. Yeah. I agree. Biological or. Went in the shop. It looks like my boy I went to high school with. I forgot his name. What's his name? No, it might be. It's hard though because some. It's a, This is obviously a black chick, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, right? Yeah. Some black chicks have more masculine looks to them too. Yeah. 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 Because they're, they're more exotic. There's a look yeah. like striking features. I think. I think biological. This is. Uh, I think she's a trans model. She's she? trans. Yeah. That's a hard guess though. Mm. We'll get going about over there, Kyle. <laughs> Hold on. What do you think? I think biological. She looks like a actress from Succession or something like that. She's biological. Yeah, that's uh, that's Steven Tyler's daughter. Nada. <laughs> I was gonna do Steven Tyler because he kind of looks like a. Oh, he looks like a grandma now. <laughs> yeah, I love him. That's trans. That looks like my boy Stan. <laughs> 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 that is trans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that looks like Larry. <laughs> Hold on. Um, that's bi- That looks like a... No, it's biological. I want to make out with her. The trans girl. Trans yeah. girl? Trans. Yeah, you know, yeah. She was on... Uh, <laughs> fucking hot Vogue, she is. I think. She was on Vogue. Really? Yeah. Look how hot she is. Dude, half of these trans girls are also but like she Victoria's Secret early. Model. She transitioned before puberty. But you see, she knows the details over here, so... Give us the. If you the, it, it, okay, so quickly, at what point do you need to give a Carfax report? <laughs> right. At what yeah. point, like, if you if you meet a chick, if I meet her, mm-hmm. and everything's functioning like a woman, right? Like she got her dick chopped yeah. off. Everything's in where it should be, and I'm a guy who's just lucky enough to be fucking a hot girl like right. this. If I don't know. I feel like Should a, lot I of, know? a lot of girls won't tell. It's like they, they probably won't tell you unless they're going to date you. Like okay, if they're but can, fucking you, then it's like... Perfect. You, can I ask you something that you keep mm-hmm. asking about this Carfax thing? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. If you married a chick, mm-hmm. right? And she she came off like this fucking... She has a dope career. She takes care of herself. Blah, 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 blah. You guys live together. You have a family. Boom. You find out she abandoned her family prior. Her husband passed away and she left her kids abandoned. Are you going to get mad about the fact that she lied to you that she didn't have a family? Or are you going to accept her back? If she abandoned a family? If she abandoned Tell me the her, truth. Tell me the like, full-blown I truth. I would be... I'm always... like I'm a little fucking homo in that regard. Like I want 
full transparency because I'm pretty. But that's a lie, right? I'm pretty you open. You caught her in a lie, right? Yeah. So my whole thing is, yeah, sure. There's the, the pussy functions, everything functions well, blah 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 blah. But if she never told you and then told you ten years later when you're about to start a family and this that and the third, you're not gonna get mad about the simple fact not because you love the person. It's, it's just like you're lying. It's a lie. It's a lie. A lie is a lie, right? Wouldn't you still address it as a lie? Yeah, but I don't look at Este every time she wears makeup and go like, "Stop lying to me." That's not the same though. She's she's a. a, a the, you think that's the like, same? No, I did think that that. Um, I feel like when it comes to girls like this, like I think they they do tell, um, like their significant other. But there have been times when um, they don't. Uh, there's been stories about that before. But I'm like, do you get that. my point though? Yeah, I think it's wrong if you don't tell. Because then it's like, yo, if you want to start a family under the and guise, I'm trusting you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, and I tell you everything full transparency, and we're gonna start a family. Right. The least you could do is right. be like, homie, just letting you know. This would happen back in the day. Yeah. I know you enjoy me and I know that you have fun with me, but just so you know, it's like running the miles back in the car and selling the car. Right. The car facts doesn't show the right. The I guess the fear. I think, for- but honestly, I think honesty above all else, no matter what, exactly. no matter what situation, whether right. it's trans or not trans. Correct. I just wanted to pop his car facts question because he keeps. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. If Estee told me she used to have a dick 10 years ago, I'd be like, why'd you chop it off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we could be having a, I'm like, we could be yeah. having a lot more fun. Yeah, I'd be good. mad that it's gone. I love it so much. You'd be uh, getting in a lot more. Yeah. yeah, you'd be pegged, but but a real thing. Estee used to peg all her ex boyfriends except me because I oh pooped God. too much. She said, <laughs> "Would Estee would Estee want you to share that information <laughs> that she used to peg? Yeah, ex- yeah, she doesn't care. So she doesn't want to peg you because your pooper is nasty, bro." That's why when I go to jail, I'm never washing my ass. Just out of all that shit, like I am not. I don't want to make that whole welcoming yeah, only ass, and not because I'm homophobic is because I'm scared to like it. I have nasty poopers. Because if too. that happens. I feel like G-spots in your ass though. So I feel like you just a little poop, poop, poop. If I find out I have just another little, sexual poop, poop, poop. lane in my butt, I'm going to literally fall apart. I'll, I'll like leave Este and start getting plowed behind dumpsters. Oh my God. I just think that's fulfill. one thing with trans guys. It's really crazy how like the testosterone. I think testosterone makes you like fucking sex crazy because that's why um the trans guys will transition even if they like women they'll start fucking guys or bodybuilders bodybuilders are fucking biggest fucking bottoms because they have no their t levels technically deplete actually then the, the, well they're Be- taking so much testosterone the so the shit, and well i think right, that their, I think their like testosterone clits. is so high because they're taking it because but the so, crazy thing is they're still taking cialis because they can't get hard i know and that's why they, and then they just become bottoms because they like taking the ass because their prostate is fucking going crazy that's crazy. The prostate is your G spot. You're okay. saying that I've never had a true great orgasm because no one's played yes. with my oh, butthole. Oh, it's different. I feel like it's like they're different, like different comes. But yeah, I feel like prostate, like uh, the, there's anal comes, and then there's prostate comes, and then there's dick comes. Mm-hmm. Like this, I've only had dick comes. Have you, yo, but I've also had an orgasm without it actually coming. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a dry cum. Oh, what do you just shake and you're like, oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, and you cry. Like, oh my god. Well, it's like it's like um, <laughs> your body is it's an ejaculation, but uh, not ejaculation. It's an orgasm without ejaculation. The only time I orgasm without ejaculating is Estee's gone for a week, and I masturbate ninety times a day. Oh my god. And then like at the end, like nothing's coming out. It's not even satisfying. Shaking dice. I'm like a fucking ang like there's times where I jerk off where it's just my body's like, do it. And I'm like, ugh, fine. And I have to do it. But I, I don't enjoy that, I don't it. Know. Yeah, I feel like cause it's just fucking like You gotta get the poison know. out. But then again, I feel like for having my balls cut off, I'm still a very horny person. Right. Do you ever feel a little bit of like the dude creeping in once in a while? You're like, uh, I don't feel like the dude. I just think that it's just like, I just horny. But like, I feel like it's different. As you a actually girl. get horny. Like you still like, uh, you're you, like yeah, yeah. Well, it's not how girls get horny. Do you do you relate? They don't have testosterone. So like the voices in my head, and I and I don't really know how to like. I don't even know if I think in English or Russian half the time. I don't even know what the voice in my head is. <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you have, do you feel like you have both a male and a female perspective or do you only have a female perspective or are you like, Hey, like I don't feel comfortable physically as a male. So I've become a woman, but there's still something in like my brain still has biologically a few male mm. things in me where I'm like, I wouldn't say male, but I do think just trans. I think that because it's, it's kind of its own experience because 
um, of the hormones, the bad thing is the testosterone gone and the estrogen put in. It's like I feel like almost like a third mindset. Oh wow, it's almost like a, it's almost like a high. It's almost uh, like a, well, yeah, you just can exit a different right? lane, right? Well, it's like I think it's just different. Like it's like it's not even like a high. I think it's just like it's just a different experience because I feel like I have way more depth to emotion as a woman now as I've transitioned because I feel like before I feel like my emotions were here and now I was like I can have this range. Of emotion do you feel like you're more emotional like you can break down crying over shit and um, certain things like bother I feel like, you yeah i feel like i can i get more just because of like the just because of hormones and depending on where i am on my hormones that's why i take my pills now i used to do the injections but i feel like i would be less um stable because i feel like i would have a peak and a low so now with the pills i feel like i'm stable all the time so i take a pill every day i see and can i ask you another question uh-huh so if speaking about that, do you think in the community since the, now that we're playing around with hormones, is there a real thing where people are taking also antidepressants? Because I know that most people take mm. antidepressants, doesn't matter whether you're trans or yeah. not. But I'm saying, do you think it's a lot more prevalent to balance yourself out to take them because there's so many lows and highs? Um, I don't think, because I never took any antidepressants. That's good. So That's I just great. feel like, honestly, a lot of people, they just... They don't go to their doctor enough to get their get or do their, research their right? levels right because a lot of times yeah. like they'll just give hormones to people mm-hmm. and then like um, they have to figure out what your levels are. But sometimes girls take more estrogen because they think it's going to make them more feminine, but it's not. It's going to make you have a blood clot. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. but you see, people just don't educate themselves. Yeah, that's cool. Damn, even though it's so much pollen in the room, I love that you're still staying patient with us. <laughs> yeah, I just seriously. have this, I still feel like I have to sneeze. Are you still, are you like coming down from your partying last night? Yeah. Sweating? No, I'm not no, sweating. No, not really? Thank God. But I feel like if I'm blowing my nose so much that like it's making me want to sneeze, even though it's just irritated inside. So I just need to use the afferent again. I but I, I, I like that you're still staying in the pocket with us, and I respect it. I appreciate you for that. That's cool. Because I do got to pee really bad. You got to pee real bad? Yeah. What are we at? Kyle, wait, hold on. I worked 30. Who else I got? Oh, that was my last one. Oh, oh last one. That was the hottest fucking. I want to find out who this girl is. I think she was on the. Uh, she was either on Vogue or she was on a magazine or that. She's a Victoria's Secret yeah, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, she does look like a Victoria's Secret model. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. And the hair, you think is natural? Or that's yeah, that's natural. Yeah. Yeah, it's because she transitioned early. She transitioned before puberty. Oh wow, it's crazy what kind of fucking medication and everything that we yeah. have. But it's isn't it just, crazy? It's just, it's just like, yeah, that's why I don't. It all boils well, it's down. because we it. all start, like, I think we all start as female in the womb, and then pretty much your pussy falls out into a dick. So it's kind of like. You She's just the, stopping it before. Yeah. Yeah, you know that, right, Val? But it, 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 <laughs> he said that to me, like, yeah, get scared. It's, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's like, I'm good. I think anyone who's like anti trans to me is just uh, uncomfortable with what they're trying to Oh, for to. sure. Because if it doesn't bother you, you move on, right? Like correct preference, like, like preference. I said before. But if it, but if you have an opinion on something, like clearly something's it 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 rubbed you. Either you had, like to, you, had like to, like you had to you had to confront. I'm like, mm, why are you mad that you're not getting dick and the other guy is? My my whole thing is I just don't like. My biggest pet peeve is when people start promoting their preference to me after I told them I'm good. Oh yeah, I don't sure. like that. Yeah, that's when I'm like, that's the same shit as the gay dude sitting in Equinox, opening up his legs like, "Come, my brother." Like, right. If I wanted to, I'd come sit next to you, bro, and talk to you. You don't right. gotta fucking throw exactly. a billboard up and 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 tell me, "Yo, pull up." Like, right. I, what's up? That's Let me why test when you. A, when a guy says like, "No," like at the end, I'm like, "Oh, like I'm trans. Are you still interested?" And I say, "No." Then I'm like, "Okay, like, I'm not gonna push the subject." Yeah, it's a preference, right? But but if person's walking around and saying we shouldn't have this, then be like, "Guy, right, you're yeah. pressed." Your values are obviously pressed and you have something in front yeah. of you that... Like if, yo, I personally don't get bothered by it. I don't care what people do at, at alone time at home. Mm-hmm. Shove or shit in your ass or you do whatever so, you I do. Don't care do it yeah, who public. cares? Right. Take your dick out. No, nah, I don't know about that. Dicks are hilarious. Public, pu- public situations are. Are also, I also disagree with at a certain extent too because normalizing certain activities publicly i also think is fucking stupid too oh for sure. yeah right. but that's everything uh pranks shouldn't be normalized uh, they shouldn't like tiktoks like, but yeah but that's just society i personally think there should be still an etiquette i think people should we should no matter what our preferences but what's still- etiquette what's etiquette 50 years ago women weren't allowed to wear skirts weren't allowed to wear pants right like what is etiquette changes over time right no i think it's time and place right yeah time and place 
Oh, right? Like, you agree like, with it's that? Like, yeah, yeah, time and place for sure. Like, I feel like um, I... Emma's more normal than me. I don't always I'm talk. I'm the only one. Just because, like, some places, like, I, I'll, t- I'll talk in the gym. Right. But if I'm, like, if I'm wearing a sundress, I'm not going to talk because, like, you're not going to see that shit. Time but and place. Time and place. But if, like, I mean, if you have your trans girl and you have your fucking bulge out, the gym is kind of weird. Like, yo, I'm not going to sit in front of two <laughs> elderly people whether they're two gay elderly people or two right. straight and start fucking mowing down my girl in front yeah. of them. For what? Like, what am I doing that for? Right? Just because I'm comfortable to do it doesn't mean I should. Right? Like, even like just now during Pride, a kid showed me a video. Everybody's hanging out. They're all walking down and, and the dude is just standing on the side on the sidewalk while people are like going to work, whatever. And he's just getting blown in the middle of the fucking street. And I'm like, yo, listen, that's good, good for you. But for what? Yeah, but that's, that's just but that's once again cherry picking, right? Versus the other hundred thousand that are just having a good time. I know. But right? I'm just so saying it's kinda it's like, like it's outliers, right? It's like if a barber rapes someone, I don't go Val's a rapist because that guy represents all of you. But I just personally think that's like, just those are that's just a person. You just happen to be like they're a pride, but that's just a shitty person. That has yeah. nothing to do with their sexual preference. That guy's a dick in non sexual situations yeah, too. Right. Right? It's like that's just I guess a that's shitty a good point, human. Yeah. Right? Like right. Yeah, so, you know, there's, there's, do you think getting their dick sucked outside? Right, yeah, like he's doing. Right. Oh, that's not like, oh, I only do this at Pride. There's straight that's a guy that's just doing there's it. There's straight yeah. dudes that are pervs also getting fucking sure. some weird shit. I mean, like, how about dudes like that are kind of fucking waving Nazi flags? Right? What about those guys? Yeah, those guys too. don't present. Yeah, the people that they're like, Correct. I guess you're right. To. It's not like you're I, just looking at outliers because outliers are fun to talk about. But do you think even if the outliers do do that, no matter what circumstance it may be, that they should be penalized for it, or do you think that some people could just be like, you can wave the green flag and be like, oh, it's fine for you guys, but for you guys, it's not fine. Like I think it should be all collectively oh, like every, the board, yeah. yeah, everybody should get fucking rocked out. I don't think it should just be like some people are yeah, but, and but, some but, are not. but those people get rocked out differently, right? You're holding a Nazi flag, like at some point you're gonna lose your job for that, right? So you got rocked out a different way. Yeah. Everyone pays the price. like we said, we have freedom of speech in this country, not freedom from consequences. consequences. Right? Like you can take your dick out on the subway, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But, but you're but gonna this country for does that. pick and choose though. It picks and chooses based on like, dude, I mean, What's like popular? a homeless guy attacks you. He spends a night in jail and is out, right? A black dude with a job like gets caught with a little ounce of weed. He's in jail for 20 years, right? It's like because they pick and choose what's worth it to them. Because the homeless guy's like, all right. She's but that's be- the shit that sucks about this country. And yeah, that's there's the- two. To, there's, there's like 17 different justices in this country, yeah. right? If you're yeah. rich and have access and power, you literally do whatever the fuck I you want. I guess freedom would only, uh, I guess uh, when they say freedom of speech in, in a free country would only work if we're all one, all one, uh, certain type yeah but freedom of speech is there to protect uncomfortable speech freedom of speech isn't there to protect dr seuss freedom of speech is there to protect uh uh, i'm sorry like if someone says i hate black people that's that's what freedom of speech is there to protect i'm not saying it's good but freedom of speech is there to protect horrible things not we all know Dr. Seuss is harmless, so we don't need freedom of speech. Correct. For that. Yeah. You need freedom of speech to be able to talk on this podcast for and sure. say the word, whatever you want to say. For sure, yeah. Now, whether we get canceled or not, that's we'll see. The what consequence. Happens. That's yeah. the consequence. You can't cancel something as a. They might pop. pick us though. Who knows? Uh, last question, and we're done because I already see the, po- the. We're already. It's enough already. Uh, you know, we're, you're struggling over there. Well, yeah. Emma's probably answered these like questions a thousand sneeze. times. Just sneeze. Last last thing, you had to shave bones down. Uh, you yeah. shave my bones down, yeah. Really, a lot of them. Yeah, so I brought my. They brought my hairline down. They shaved my forehead. They shaved oh my, my brow bone. They did my nose. They had a fat transfer to my face. They shaved my jaw, and my chin. Yo, and how painful, how long did that take to fucking recover from? Oh, it took like a few months, honestly. I feel like I was so swollen like seven months later, but it wasn't like, it just went down over time. But I feel like you look crazy for the first two months. And when you eat certain types of foods, or like let's say you go partying mm-hmm. and pollen gets crazy and allergies mm-hmm. and all that shit, does, does it hurt? Uh, no, not really. I feel like my nose hurts just because like they, they fucked up my septum. Mm-hmm. So, of course, when you when you play in pollen for eight hours. Um, <laughs> you should hit the fucking hotel nose. room, doctor. Fix your nose up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we should fucking call and be like, yo, my man, you fucking <laughs> fucked around and found out. Like, what's ah, up? Throw us some money back. <laughs> literally. But, yo, oh. this was amazing. Dude, was I have I've conversation. known Emma for three years, and I still learn so much every sure. time. I know. It's been three years it's, now. Holy shit. This is, I mean, this is supposed to be our 4th of July episode, which, you know, this is the modern woman. This is the modern American woman. And straight, regular women... 
Honestly, though, now psyched. it's fucking like different now too, because like I feel like even in porn, like the trans girl and girl is like the new girl girl. Like it's like most people, like it's a trans is a. I fifth. would rather watch trans porn than watch regular porn. Like watching yeah, you fuck fifth, another. It's the fifth most. You fuck girls or guys or both? Of both. Right. If I'm gonna watch a dick in a video while I'm watching a porno, would I rather be attached to some like fucking guy or attached to Emma? Oh, hot girl. Right. That's why I feel like I've been filming with a lot of women lately for my. It's porn a lady's penis because it's like the new le- lesbian like girl girl scene pretty much yeah, I, like, do you do you think like do you, you know how like fire sneakers come out and everyone's like so hype about mm-hmm. the fire sneakers do you think there's people obviously you guys are going to say this goes for everything mm-hmm. but do you think pe- there's people in the community that do it or like yo this is fire like this is a great trend like i want to hop on this asap oh there's like we call them trans setters it's like sometimes uh, like everyone's... they'll transition just because it's honest because it's the hype right that or they'll make more money Mm -hmm. because you know they'll just strip or they'll escort or something like that so yeah but there's also people who detransition so i think oh really yeah there's people who detransition um it's not a lot but it's still like notable but yeah so it's like a it's like a dishonorable discharge you guys look at it like that right Uh, (laughs) i don't think so because i think sometimes it's really it's honestly like being trans is hard sometimes like uh especially if you have kids and you're transitioning. And also it's and expensive. It's expensive. It's uh, you have to worry about like even your own children and their feelings and that they're you know going to school and like it's also so hard much. to yeah it's hard to set up discipline and values and rules because there's certain things that you see in your community like yo I don't want to pass that down and then there's also certain things you see in the straight community like I don't want to pass that down exactly either. so then it becomes a mind fuck you like yo what do I instill in this kid so that he grows up like chooses his preference yeah. but doesn't get affected. By be a fucking crazy it, you know? asshole, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's hard. It's not easy to do that. It's very tough. I think about that all the time. Do raising kids in this society right now is tough. <laughs> Even to as a straight so person, tough. it's so tough. It's tough because you can't let them run wild. It's like it's like it's like having a dog, right? I'm not gonna compare kids to dogs, but having a dog, you gotta still train. Yeah, well, the dog. we're gonna sound like a grumpy old man, but like being a kid when I grew up was so much better because the only outside influence I had was like television and my friends and riding bicycles like can you, if i had a cell so phone much information so much there. like the dude it's i so just lost. You, you know it was more innocence yeah. to a ch- to our childhoods now these kids are growing up Horrible. so fast Horrible. have so much information at their fingertips yeah. and you're like dude the beauty of being a kid is being dumb and uninformed correct i want to be an when you're a child, like, I just, let you don't me know anything. The yeah. weight of the world shouldn't be on your shoulders. No. That's why they always say the famous line is, uh, um, uh, youth is wasted on the young for sure right, when you get older you were like I wish I could have my youth back right they don't appreciate it yeah. now they're all fucked you're up you're 100% right and that's the thing I'm, I'm that's a- probably why there's so many school shootings it's because these kids yeah. have to deal with this world versus back then it's like we had bomb threats and it was exciting because you just didn't have to go to school right. now the fire like, alarms were fun to shot. you know like yeah. now it's a it's an a alarm kids are like yo I can't even believe I'm in the school right now I will say this though, Emma. Enjoy your time in the sun because at some point, transgenders are going to be as boring as straight white yes. people. And the next generation of well, they're gays, like the gays. They're yeah, just, like gays are fucking boring old news now. Yep. Right. Like at when, some like, point, like, you're going to just blend into now. the landscape of shitty humanity. Right now, you guys are. You're like the Chris Rock of. Uh, you're like, you know, like Chris Rock was in comedy. You're like basically the Chris Rock in the tra- transgender community right now. So well, enjoy right. that time. Yeah. Well, you honestly, know? I feel like like I feel like when you when I wake up, like being a woman, I feel like, like I know there are trans people who make a statement every single day. But honestly, I feel like being a girl. I mean, I like it, but it's like kind of just it's like so normal to me that it's like boring because like yeah, you wake yeah. up and you're like i'm happy to be a man today i don't think about that right uh, like like to us we go yeah. oh my god what's yeah. it like being trans she's like i don't even think about that right I don't you're even just, think yeah. about it. I just she doesn't like, wake up and go trans, trans 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 right right like yeah i wake up as and outsiders like, oh. we're curious yeah but you know when i was growing you, it's crazy you just said that you know you just made me think of when i was like 21 22 and i was i remember there was a moment where i was like Yo, I love being a dude. Like I was like mm-hmm. working out, and I did wasn't stressed. I didn't have bills. I didn't have this. Yeah. And, that. and I would wake up in the morning and be like, "Yo, this is fucking fire!" Like I was like, "Yo, I play ball." I had that edge, I, you know. Like you mm-hmm. say certain things, yeah, and you just move a, a certain way, and you're just like, "Yo, I fucking love this." You know, I saw it was at the beginning of my transition, but now I feel like it's like now I feel like, like as we've grown up and shit, it's just like, oh, it's just another day. Yeah, 
It gets everything gets played out, right? Yeah. You feel me? So well, everyone just gets jaded after a while. Like we said, like we're just gonna be tired of. Eventually, trans just blends into the landscape. Yeah. Right of humanity. Once it gets normalized, yeah, everything becomes like. It's interesting how that works, though. It's interesting, right? If people start normalizing fucking killing people. We have. This whole country's Everybody. found. The religion is the number one cause of death. We've normalized death. Dude, do you care when people die? School shootings don't even bother us anymore. Like, school shootings That's fucked up, by show the way, up as like right. a scroll on the news now, right? Yeah. It's like, there's the stocks, and here's another school that got... Like, like, my boy just said that he walked out of work in the city in New York, and some dude got his neck slashed, and the blood went everywhere, and he went all over the street right in front of him. And I was kind of like, all right, I got to go to Carrill's. Mm. Like, I wasn't even thinking about that. Right. And that's crazy Dude, because back I, in the day as a kid, I would be like thinking about it for weeks. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, this is fucked. Yeah, I don't care about that. Like, think about it. Like, when I'm in traffic and bad traffic, what do I say? Someone better be fucking dead up there. Right. That, that they're inconveniencing yeah. me this much. Correct. Right. And then you see it's just like some guy like, you know, ran out of gas and you're like, you, f you didn't need, I wish you were dead. We don't value human yeah. life. Definitely not. Yeah. Mm. Well, are trans people allowed to be buried in regular cemeteries? It should be a trans cemetery. Trans cemetery? Oof. I think that, um, honestly, I feel like it's just, I want to get burned. Wanna you want to get cremated? cremated? That, or I want to be turned into fertilizer. Are there religious tra transgenders? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend, she's like really big Christian. She sings in the church. How does that work? I think it's just like the same. It's like if you were gay and gay and um right it's just weird to belong to, a, to i guess maybe they belong to a more accepting community yeah, of, sure. of religious people but like statistic like the statistically yeah usually, statistically most not. religious people but, i mean there's are conservative like, trans people too there's republican look at killing her yeah she's she's super conservative yeah but that's money yeah that's money she doesn't like that's money separates all things yeah, money separates of, all there's a lot things. of liberal fucking people with money and they would never say the shit uh uh that she says true let's be honest like bro there's a lot of powerful liberal people with money behind they don't yeah speak up about money. they don't because and they, they like they to know. keep their money they keep their money but behind closed doors dude we all talk shit there's i know so many liberal people that behind closed doors are like straight they'll, scumbags they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll talk shop with us right they'll use the word They'll use all that shit because and they're they play like the game on TV, everyone's yeah. projecting an image. For sure, it really is, and I hate we're that just though. fucking just disgusting. Annoying. We're disgusting humans. So annoying, and we're all ugly on the inside. Yeah, there you go. There we and go. Honestly, you guys are just hot on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for it, uh, dude. Emma, you need to plug anything? I didn't mean to throw the word "dude" at you, but oh, I just, um, dude, dude is a gender. I can find word. me at ohitsamoros.com. O h i t s m r o s. What's on that website? What can uh, we see? All of my links, honestly. My fans, my Twitter, my uh, Instagram, my YouTube, um, pretty much all my shit, all my presses, all my podcasts. On IDBiv. Fucking lover. Fire. Amazing. This was a great conversation. Appreciate you. This is the most informative. I learned so much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Oh, Can you, you clap us clap, out? Do the Just clap, clap that clap thing out. Oh.